Hello everybody, my name is Joe Snowflare and welcome back to another stream. Sorry, I had to do that at least once. But yeah, right now, um, I, I, it's like I am streaming, but I'm also going to be like... Because I need to actually do it, well not a script, but I do like a little like... Um, what you call it? Hold on, give me a sec. Just need to close the window over. Because, like, if I hear one single noise outside, boom, window closed. But anyway, sorry, as I was saying, um, right now I need to update the um, Share Albert's Story update bullet point script kind of thing. I can kind of show it, but I'm not going to do that yet because I need to close. Uh, <laughs> I need to close volume 14, uh, the spare word document that I didn't use, and then this. Um... So, actually, you know, why not? I can show it, can't I? I don't think... Okay, just don't do that, Joe. That's the only thing you should not do. That'll dox your, like, fucking info. Um, okay, other than that, it should be grand. Yeah, I'm just looking around real quick. Okay, right, I can show this. Share your Arbor Story update. There's nothing else on the screen. I should close this, actually. Yeah, yeah, close that, close that, close that. Um... Right, here it is. So, this is basically a little script I have. And I know I've set myself to Power Watch Sim, but we'll play that in a second. Because um, I do want to clean the hand. I want to see, like, what's after that. And maybe we'll do something else after that. I'm not too sure. Um, but as you can see here, like, I've already changed that to 5. And this is, like, the last one. So, like, you'll see the bullet points like this where it's, like, Welcome Back. The Lila reveal. I've been sick. The progress was stagnant. The new OST piece that came out. I don't... Or maybe that was talked about that I could do more new ones. Uh, there's, I was going, basically going radio silent for the holiday. And what will happen when I return. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to stay here. Because I am definitely scared that I'm accidentally going to click something that just is like... Oh yeah, by the way. Here's my full name. My email. My actual address. My, like, code and all that. My fucking bank details. Just, I don't know why. I just have a big fear that I'm going to do something like that. And, you know, I'd rather not. <laughs> just, I'd rather not do that. I'll just keep it on this screen. Like, the little talk screen. Oh, yeah, I forgot I did that. Oh, that's so cool. Where, like, my head just goes over the thing. It's like, huh, eh. You won't know what the actual follower goals are. But anyway, um, I will iterate this just before we start. That, obviously, if you see over here... These are some of the follower goals, and, you know, we're going to be able to, like, uh, hopefully get some of them done eventually. I think from now on, I'm going to be labeling streams as, like, you know, you could change me with hit follow goals, etc, etc. Until somebody actually comes into a stream, it's like, oh yeah, I'd like to chain, or I'd like to buy this for you in Destiny 2. Oh, I just realized I didn't even do that yesterday. I forgot to go into Destiny 2. I, it was so late that I was just like, ah, no, I'll go. But, um, yeah, we can go into Destiny 2, we can check out the Eververse store, and... Somebody could choose, like, anything as long as it's, like, under, well, basically around 1,100 silver. As long as it's in, in that range, I don't mind what people want to choose to buy. It's just you're going to be detrimental or making me, like, it's going to be a detriment because, like, I just realized, like, I'm probably going to buy a nerd charity thing. We'll have to buy silver again for it, but, you know, it is how it is. And honestly, it could be as cheap as it can or up to 1,100. Like, it doesn't even... Matters the follower's choice at that point. Basically, I'm gonna do it like this as well in case for some reason there's wait I saw that change You still yes, you're still on blue yeti. Okay. I hope that doesn't change. I really hope that doesn't change I feel like it's going to change randomly. Yes, I am also eyeing the mic as well make sure it doesn't change But actually let me go to this as well. But other than that, um, it's basically like since the initial like 65th follower and 70th follower probably aren't going to be here it's basically first come first serve so if there's like two people that end up being in chat we're going to like basically say okay um you commented first you get to choose the 65th one and if there's another guy we get to let them choose like uh the 70th follower thing and obviously if somebody else follows beforehand like if they become the 71st follower then they get to choose the eye color and all that Okay, the stream sounds okay anyway. I don't think... Oh, wait. I, it doesn't matter. I left that thing. But anyway. Okay, first, let me just do this. So, I'm just updating this. I'll, prob I'll probably read this out anyway. There's, I don't think there's a need for me to keep this a secret. 
Because, like, again, as I said, this is basically a bullet point script for me, just so, like, when I make this video, which will probably be either later today or tomorrow, that, like, I have something to go off of. And, like, I know it's going to be disappointing to say this, but for this, like, Sherry Arbor story update, it's basically just an update to say that I'm still doing updates and the story is still being progressed. Like, for example, I just finished editing volume 13 today, and I've actually started editing volume 14 as well. And I'm already nearly done the first chapter of 14, so... It's exciting shit, honestly. Finally, like, editing the final volume again. Well, not really editing it again, but... Working with it again. You know? It's just... It's cool stuff, alright? I'm just... I'm just... I'm just happy. I'm happy I've reached this point, but it's taken me, like, the best part of a year to get here again, so... Hopefully, next time around, it won't be a fucking whole year of me doing the second revision. And I hopefully won't add any more volumes in between. So I'm already thinking of adding a volume after 14, but... I think 14, as of right now, ends at a good point. It's like the end of, like, an anime season that, well, is basically building into a, like, or going to build into another season. It's a good, like, cut-off point, we'll just say. Because obviously I definitely want to do, like, volume 15 and stuff and all that in the future. But for now, I still need to concentrate on the main, like, 14 uh, volumes. Anyway, so we have Welcome Back. Um, we'll just say no new concepts or uh, OST pieces. And obviously if I'm saying this here on stream, that actually means I haven't been working... On both. I haven't even submitted any details or found an artist that I want to draw it as well. But you never know. Maybe I'll go off Fiverr for once and try and find someone else. Who knows? Uh, I haven't been sick. Oh, yeah. Instead of being sick, I'm just going to say I will... I've been on holiday. Uh, progress is stagnant. Uh, progress hasn't actually been stagnant. It's been good progress. We'll say progress is uh, good. Get rid of new OST piece. And then, actually, we'll put in brackets, volume 13, finished, uh, volume 14, started. Because even on Discord, like, if you see my name on Discord, if you join the Discord server, which I might actually have to update the, <laughs> the link to that eventually, if anybody ever wants it, I need to, um... Like, you can see, sorry, on my profile that, like, I have it now as, like, Sherry Arbor Story, 14 of 14. And it's just, like, almost there. It's so, again, it's so mad to think. I know for a fact, anyway, I'm definitely going to do a second revision. There's no way I can't not do a second revision before deciding from there if I should really be like, okay, maybe I could just hyper-focus edit the first volume and then maybe submit it to a book publishing company, a few of them, just to see if anyone wants to take it. Honestly, <laughs> You know, if any uh, manga or anime studios want to hit me up, you know, I'll submit to you at least the first three volumes to see if you uh, like what you see. Because, like, the first volume, is, like, I will admit, thinking about it now, I guess, like, the story is kind of a slow build-up. But that's because I'm basically introducing, like, everything, I'm describing stuff, and it's only when you really get into the story that, like, I start, like, dropping a bit of the details. And maybe every so often, like, if I haven't mentioned a person's name in a while... Like, let's say, bleeding Sherry's dad's name was um, Hubert, you know? And let's say we don't mention poor Hubert until, like, you know, let's say first volume to sixth volume. I'll be like, Sherry's uh, father, and then, comma, Hubert, comma, you know, something like that. I, that's probably the only other time I'll be more, like, or start getting, giving a little bit of detail again. And I guess, like, theoretically, if, like, volume 15 is the start of a quote-unquote new anime season... That's another time where I'll probably be, like, over-informative of, like, reminding people, yeah, this is all th what it is, and this is the story and stuff. But to be fair, hopefully at that time, though, like... Uh, whatchamacallit. Like, by the time I reach Volume 14 and can actually get it published and all that, hopefully by that time, I've already finished, at, like, creating Volume 15, maybe 16, and start at 17 or something like that, you know? I probably go silence... Uh, what will happen when we return, and, um, we'll just say what's next. Because there's not really much else I can mention in this for this fifth Cherry Arbor story update. Yeah, okay, right. We'll leave that alone now. Well, okay, uh, words, do you mind closing? Thank you. We'll finally open Power Wash. 
and also switch screen. I honestly, I can't wait to do the thumbnail for this Sherry Arbor story update. Because I'm planning, like, just like the, um, my background, like, here I'll show you the thanks screen, for example. I'm planning to use that, um, but, like, I'm going to tilt it on its side, so, like, you'll see the faces, like, one on top of each other. I don't know, it's going to be cool, hopefully, maybe. Um, yeah, they're long, so I want to, yeah, this one, because it's only 500. Wait, actually, hold on, that's 500. Wait, new. Oh, yeah, wait, you don't even get money for these, do you? Why was I cleaning the the thingy thing then? Bro. Nah, screw that. I'm, I'm, I'm getting money first. <laughs> it's just like, no, money. Yes, money, money, money. I, 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 I can't do it. I can't do the Mr. Krabs laugh. Uh, Mr. Krabs? No, I can't do a Patrick voice either. I'm horrible at voice acting. I'm not gonna lie. There's like certain voices for certain characters. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> I fucking love looking at that. That is so gas. Wait, actually. Oh, no. It's, the grime still has three bars, even without this. I thought it was because I was using this that I had three bars. But honestly, though, this is just... Oh, it's so good. How far is too far? Okay, I guess this far is enough. Hopefully this little piece will give me that like little satisfying ding I'm looking for. Just to start off this power wash journey, you know? But, you know, again, I can't like get over it. I even had like a nice coffee this morning. Like there were, like Starbucks do this like kinda like um already made like coffee cup that you can buy in like a like bottle fridge. And it's just like it was so nice. It was just like a little bit hint of caramel and a cappuccino. It's like bruh. Good shiz. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I think I already mentioned it in another stream or yesterday stream, but I had a crep yesterday. It wasn't really that good, I'm not gonna lie. So I might just stick to getting smoothies from that particular place. Because when I got a smoothie from there, bruh, the smoothie was so good. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I I looked at the other smoothie options. And I'm like, yeah, I definitely want to try some of these. Like, I might even invite my mate out. But then again, like, I'm going out. That, oh, oh, yeah, obviously, as you can tell, I'm here this Friday. Which means I'm not going out with my friends today. I'm going out with them, oh, uh, tomorrow. I suppose it could be pointing to the stars. Starting out, Jesus, I got a load of achievements. I got Superstar. Oh, yeah, it's because, like, they didn't have achievements before, so I'm getting them all now, all in a row. Andromeda would have been at the exact spot around 8,000 years ago. Maybe that's it. Okay, why are we pointing to the stars again? Weren't we talking about, like, a coastal town yesterday called Marine or something like that? Oh, yeah, this didn't finish, did it? I don't think this is ever going to finish, honestly. I know the fin's done. I can't even remember. Oh, no, it did go off, didn't it? I think I got the message, so that's probably what distracted me. But even then, it's all good, you know? Honestly, I kind of like doing this type of stream as well. Mainly because, like, I can put the follower goals there without worrying about it. I seriously need to look into, um... Whatchamacallit? I need to look into... Having a thing that scrolls at the bottom of the screen that's like, this follower goal is this, and this follower goal is that, you know? It would also it would also help briefly with runtime on the stream. Because if you think about it, if somebody's really wanting to read it, they're going to wait a bit before, like, uh, before leaving. Maybe, potentially. But yeah, no, I shouldn't really treat streaming too seriously. Especially with the quality of streams I put out, honestly. And I've still got a long way to go before I become, like, an actual decent commentator on, uh, Twitch. Like, I do have my funny moments, but that's the whole thing, though. They're just funny moments. I'm not consistently funny. It's impossible for me to be consistently funny, but if I can try and edge towards that as much as I can, then, hey, you know what? Maybe that's a good thing. Um, I think I already mentioned it yesterday, but I was planning to, um, like, essentially for the... 200 subscriber special I think either stream it on Twitch or YouTube I'm not sure maybe I will still stream it on Twitch just because I want to keep up the record but again if we did it on YouTube I could stream um, without worrying about copyright claims and blocks and all that well I guess I would kind of worry about blocks but 
It's mainly just like, I'd love a stream where we just look back on the channel and the 200 subscriber special would be a good excuse to be in like, okay, let's take a look at past videos and let's see how, like, shit I was. Because, like, I've organized the majority of my content from Joseph Flair and maybe bits of, like, the Night Flyer at the very least into a playlist, um, like, into playlists, that, like, based on years. So I think it's, like, 2013 to 14 because there was barely any videos that year. Then there was 2015 by itself, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and obviously 22 is still ongoing, so... Yeah. I definitely would want to, like, go into those playlists and look at one video at a time. I definitely want to look at fucking how I ended up in Minecraft again. It'd be, it'd be such a disservice if we were doing a fucking, like, look back on the channel and did not include how we ended up in Minecraft. That video was the video that basically said to myself, yeah, I'm going to upload. Even though, like, I kind of got scared because, like, it, you, like, we used up so much internet just to, like, upload that that it started charging us extra for things. So, I didn't really upload again until 2014 when, like, I understood that that wasn't why it did thing. It was because of, um, well, no, it was that, but, like, I just needed to... Essentially, like, when it came to us using the internet, like, it was so limited, but, like, I, I'd always have those moments, though. Like, bro, oh my god, I just remembered that. If I wanted to watch, like, one Sky Does Minecraft video, I'd have to schedule, like, and plan to watch at least one at the end of a week. Like, I don't think I could watch them daily, because it was just, like, there was way, like, it used up so much data just to watch one of his videos. And it was not even in good quality, either. I think it was, like, probably 360 or 480p at the time. And now look at how I've evolved. I literally watch shit now in 1080 now. It's so weird. Uh, but, like, if I'm still downloading stuff and whatnot, I still have to kind of downgrade back to 720. But, yeah. Honestly, those memes about, like, 720 looking, like, horrible now is so, like, true, though. Like, but I swear back then, 720 used to be just godsend and then, like... Like, it used to be my godsend, especially, because, like, as I said, I watched a lot of stuff in 480 and, like, uh, 360. Maybe even 240 at some points. But, um... Yeah. And, I, like, I was watching these videos when I don't think there was even the choice to speed up video speed. So, I was watching these videos longer than I, like, could have, probably, and whatnot. And I probably could have saved a lot on data and whatnot, and... God, yeah, sorry, that's just after reawakening some memories of me being on the computer and, like, actually having to wait that time and... Bruh, it's just... It's so mad how far... Not even just YouTube-wise, just how far I've come as a person and... How much we've changed as a family as well, especially. Because, like, before, like, I, especially I do remember this when I was younger. I was like, oh yeah, I'll definitely not be that guy that's always on his phone and... Well, I became that guy that's always on his phone in the house. Along with my brother, uh, my mom kind of goes on her phone, my dad kind of goes on his phone as well, but I'm the one that probably... Well, actually, no, maybe it's between me and my brother anyway nowadays, because I'm too busy doing stuff on my computer nowadays to uh, be on my phone the whole time. But I will admit, I, I, I have stuck to my word that like I would not smoke, and yeah, I basically haven't smoked at all. And that's not even a lie, Like I'm not even trying to hide any fucking like, drug stories or anything. Like, I legit just have not smoked, like, at all. Like, I've obviously pretended a few times with, like, candy cigarettes and stuff, but, like, that's it. Or candy sticks, as they had to rename them, because it's too, like... It was encouraging kids to smoke, which kind of made sense, honestly, but... I don't know, candy cigs, like, just is the best. Or the other word, which I can't mention, because it's actually homophobic, so... <laughs> it's just, like... We, we won't touch into that territory. But, um... Yeah, no, it's just, it, it's just strange, honestly, just, like, thinking about all that stuff and how, like, slow our internet used to be and basically how it is now that I could even stream on the internet, you know? Like, theoretically, to have the best quality stream, I probably should be streaming at 480, but I still want to go for that 720. I want to at least be in what was considered HD at one point. Or at least the mindset at the time, I think, was like, okay, we're going to stream at at least in HD, like, the lowest HD. And then they updated it on, like, basically everywhere saying that's no longer thing. Okay, yeah, see, that did go off. So that probably went off as well. Um, but basically the, um, 
there's like YouTube and a bunch of other like I guess maybe companies and stuff were like, well, 720 is no longer HD, and that's weird to me as well. It's basically like now HD is like the highest quality of standard definition. I think that's how that works, right? Like they declassify it probably and make it lower. Because I swear now we have like 16K like TVs and stuff and devices, so like what's the point like in thing and thing? But there's also um. Whatchamacallit, the weird fact then is that 1080p, as it used to be the second quality in the HD category, is now, like, the bottom. And I feel like eventually 1080 is also going to be counted as, like, SD at some point. Like, I guess it's just, it, it, it depends on how readily available higher quality, like, technology is going to be. Like, to be fair, I probably could get, like, the highest, like, HD quality, but, like... Like, I don't think I'd bother with thing yet. As I said before, at one point in time, I definitely want to, like... I want to take it slow when upgrading my, like, visuals to, like, higher quality screens and stuff. I, d I especially want to get, like, as much things as possible that are, like... Um, the energy efficiency of the item is, like, actually decent. Because, like, you know, I do still kind of live at home and I don't want to, like, have everything that I own be a detriment to my parents and, like, using up so much electricity. Because, like, I can imagine that maybe one or the two of the monitors, maybe both, like, like are, like, high quality too much for the thing and aren't, like, energy efficient. So if I had an excuse to replace my monitors right now, it would probably be for, like, if I got a higher quality screen and it was very energy efficient. Like, I'm talking, like, at least, like, A or B quality efficiency. Which you have to think, like, eventually they've got to make something like that, right? Like, the the easier it is to make higher quality stuff, the easier it will be to, like, lower the energy, like, output required to um, display images in, like, 1080+, plus. you know? I don't know, I'm just rambling on about shit that I think I have an idea on, but I probably don't. But, um... Yeah, it's still... Just epic, you know? Honestly, like, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to Sherry Albert's story and the concepts, at some point, I hope to just encounter a friend who's just, just like, fucking talented at drawing. And just, just like, really wants to draw shit for me. So I'm just like, oh, y you want to draw shit for me? Okay. Like, we, we can work on this. And, like, obviously, if they wanted payment, I'd give them payment in person. Like, it'd be a lot, like, probably cheaper, if anything, to give them payment in person than... To pay for some like commissions on the internet, and like I don't know, I'd at least then at that point as well be able to say to them in person, "Oh yeah, by the way, so like if I use this like commercially, will it be grand?" Then they'll probably be like, "Yeah, it's grand as long as you're doing this and you pay the extra fee and stuff and so on and so forth." Because like right now, as I probably have mentioned before, Sherry doesn't like I don't think has proper commercial rights. I can't remember. Like, I think, at the very least, if, like, Jovan, the original... Or is it Jovan? No, what was his name? Yanti, that's it. Um, if they had, like, a tip jar kind of webpage or something, I'd probably at least tip them, like, 50 quid or something. And be like, okay, I can't remember if I really actually paid properly for the backgrounds and, like, uh, the commercial rights, so I'm just going to leave this here. And then, essentially, we can just count that as a, like, payment on that, like... So I think in the initial piece it does have the commercial rights, but, you know, we'll just have that there as well, just in case. I don't know. Because, like, for Claire and Lila, I have the commercial rights for them. Like, essentially, I own the images, you know? But honestly, if the artists, like, of the pieces they do for me ever hit me up and be like, yo, we'd love to, like, include your art piece into the thing and thing, I'd be like, yeah, sure, go on. As long as it's not, like, a fucking body pillow. Like, maybe Lila would be alright for that, because she's 18. But, like, I mean, Claire looks like a lolly, but she's 16. And fucking Sherry is 16 as well. So they'd be a bit sus, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'd approve of that usage. But I would approve of, like, the, um... Like, if they wanted to include, like, the art pieces in, like, posters and all that sort of stuff. And I don't even know if I'd really look for, um payment on that like obviously it'd be cool if i got a little bit of like i guess royalty fees on it but i don't know like the original artists like drew those and a lot of the time for art and music it's a shame that like the rights for pieces like that 
when they've done all the work and all I've done is pay for it, for example, and all like music labels do kind of similar bits. It's like it's such a shame that they don't get to like use the pieces freely as well. Like I'm pretty sure KSI like legit can't own like doesn't actually own Lamborghini, so like all the like mute like money just doesn't even go to him anymore. Like basically, I think it's Universal. Like they own like I think all the rights to like uh, Lamborghini and some of his older songs and whatnot, which is such a shame when you think about that. Like, it's so shoddy. Like, how can you, like, do that? How can you, like, have someone, like, with producers stuff write all that shit for you and then just, like, claim ownership? Now I'm just starting to realize how shitty it is I'm doing that for <laughs> Sherry Helper's stories, art pieces. But, like, you get what I mean, though, right? That's why I would be lenient with it. Because it's like, you guys made this for me. I think you guys deserve to be able to use this, too. It's basically my mindset right now when thinking about that. And, um, whatchamacallit, Bleeding, I think at some point, like, I think a music law needs to change somewhere that basically says, like, if this artist is in this song, they also own the song themselves, too. Like, ownership should not just be for, like, thing. And now, obviously, that would bleed into art pieces and concepts, but, you know, we can also talk about that. Like, again, I, I won't be too... Uh, bad about it. As long as they like, as long as they like, if I'm being asked for the art pieces and it's not being like, you know, like maybe like used in its own anime and they're misbetraying like the characters, you know, I guess maybe I don't know. I'd probably said a bunch of like not juxtaposition, but like things that like don't line up, because like I'm constantly changing my opinion as I'm talking right now, you know, and that's another thing people need to understand as well. Actually, now that I think about that. Like, when somebody says they're going to do something or they have this view on a thing, doesn't mean they're actually going to do it and it doesn't actually mean they're going to be, like, having that point of view forever. Like, I mean, what's a good example? I mean, like, let, let's just say, right, if I said back when I was, like, I don't know, 16, saying, yeah, I wouldn't mind kids, I think, like, having kids would be the best thing in life. Like, obviously, that opinion doesn't hold up to now, because now I fucking detest the thought of having kids. But I also, I kind of like it at the same time, though. But I'll explain in a second, because Cav Calvin Miller just sent a message there. Let me just open this, because I know it's going to disappear anyway. Uh, strange him to don't speak to the spot. Wait, where is it? I've been in contact with the fire chief evacuations that are taking place for everyone in Muckingham. Flo's fire helicopter is being called in to see if anything can be done to calm Mount Rushless. Be sure to keep your dis- Bro, you are trying to calm a volcano. You can. Like, it's impossible. I don't think you can do that. Like, I think the best thing is to just get up and leave. Like, like, it, like honestly, I'd have to say goodbye to Floppy because the PCs come with me if that was the case. <laughs> uh, like, low-key, I actually probably would as well. I'd be like, right, everything else in this room? Nah. PC, though, has my life stuff on it. I need it. To be fair, though, I've uploaded the majority of, like, the Sherry Arbor, st like, story stuff, so, like, that should be grand, but, like, I'd still, I don't know. If I knew something was happening in my area and we needed to move within the next few days, like, I definitely would get my suitcase back out and pack it. But I'd also try and, like, put my PC into a storage box so I could be like, right, you're coming with me. Oh, and I'd easily leave behind all the props. I'd put the anime figures back in their boxes, obviously, as well, and I'd probably try to take them and then floppy can sit in the box with the um uh thing oh but then again i just have to remember though there's four people in this house so that means like we'd be all sharing the room and the car and all that oh god okay never mind maybe i can't have multiple storage boxes full of shit it'd be such a difficult scenario honestly maybe it's good that i don't know what i'd actually do in that scenario even though my brain constantly thinks of doom day scenarios and Depressing scenarios and all that sort of stuff, like, fucking, what if I had cancer, what would I do next, and all that sort of shit. Like, my brain really does think too much for its own good, like. Like, for a good few years, I'll even mention this, like, my brain was, like, so fucked on the thought of, like, death and the concept of it, and, like, you know, it depends, obviously, what you believe in and stuff, and what I believe in, like, I won't really mention too much, because it can really be a depressing topic. All I'll say is, I... I think I've gotten over it for the most part. 
But now that I mention it here, I'm probably going to be thinking about it again tonight. And I'm going to be like, eh, fuck, you know. But, you know, it is how it is. You know, you can't fucking do anything about it. You can't change it. Like, you just got to fucking live your life and keep going, you know. Like, that's why I, tr like, as much as I do worry about a lot of stuff, I try not to worry about it for too long. Because, like, there's got to be a point where you reach where you're, you're just done thinking about it. Like, like, even though my brain does constantly think about a lot of things and it does come up back from time to time, eventually my brain does stop and it's like, okay, there's legitimately no point in, like, contemplating this thought any further. Like, let's just leave it for now and come back to it maybe another time. But, yeah. I already want to have a drink of water because I just seen the water from coming from thing. I was like, "Ooh, water!" Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten a ding in a while, and it's kind of frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, can we just go up here instead? Can we just do like make sure all of this is done? Okay, we have that side. We have this finger. We have the front of these fingers. We have the top of here. Let's try not go off the edge if possible. Maybe I should really just give up on using this, but I can't as well though. It's, it's so it costs so much and it's so expensive, bro. And it theoretically might actually be like covering more surface area whilst being high powered but like basically It's like this one, but like, you know, three direct beams. If it had, like, a fort one wedged in to the same size it is now, it honestly would be the same, like, kind of one as the white one, but, like, just more powerful. Like, the white one would never be used. Why was I dropping frames just there? Something happening? Hmm. Oh, yeah, now that I think about it, the statue was missing its hand, wasn't it? Uh, actually, no, yeah, that's not even on anyway. Career mode completed. We need to go there. Oh, bro, remember some of these, though? Oh, man. The fucking skate park. The speed of doing the penny farthing. When I thought you had to clean the whole mansion, but it's just the wall. Oh, the wheel. This fucking treehouse, man. Still think it's the most expensive one as well. The plane when I started dragging me into the lower, the fucking Ferris wheel, the subway, the ancient statue. Yeah, see, its hand is missing, or its hands, I think. I think so. This is one of the hands. Where the fuck is the other? Maybe you have to clean another one of its hands in the future or something like that. Or there's going to be a project where like somebody has one of the hands in their back garden or something. It's like. Oh, yeah, can you also clean this big hand, too? Please and thank you. Okay, we won't go too far down. I want to get more of, like, the dirt that's, like, actually clustering together. Oh, yeah, I also started watching the Toradora anime, like, first episode. And I'm not gonna lie, for a second, I actually legitimately contemplated just watching it instead of, like, streaming. But I was like, nah, I should at least stream once today because I'm going to be like out tomorrow it looks like it's going to be the well even though I'm probably hopefully going to be on a three day streak I don't think I'm going to be able to continue the exercise streak unless I give myself that day break uh, thing that I was talking about yesterday but I don't know right now it's not set in stone like maybe I should at least give myself that day break one because like theoretically I'm still working out quite a bit because I'm walking around like a lot like, when I hang out with friends. And, like, ignore the fact that we'll be taking, like, probably a bus or two, but shush. It is how it is. You use transit when you get the chance. But, um... Yeah, I need to remember, actually, to pull all my coins down. Because I have so much fucking coin change, like, that I'm just not using, like. And I need to start using it more. Especially if I go back to that smoothie place and, like, actually get in her smoothie. Because it, like... <laughs> I don't want to give them a big, like, no when I could literally give them, like, two coins at most. You know? But I'm also the type of guy where I don't really like carrying around change. That's why, like, the change is all stacked up on the shelf in front of the anime figures, you know? 
<sighs> I just kind of hope that I don't actually fucking buy, like, a thing. I hope I don't actually buy too much when we're out tomorrow. Because basically, like, the plan is, like, we were going to see a film the last time after Comic-Con. But we had an incident where, like, we couldn't see it because, like... Basically, one of our friends is, like, crippled. And, um, the thing wouldn't work. Like, the thing to get him down the stairs. And, as well, they were telling us that basically, like... Oh, yeah, um, so since it's a 4D cinema, your crippled friend's not allowed in. It's like, what? I think it was something like that as well. So it's like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? Like, they saw him in the wheelchair, and they decided, yeah, no, we'll still allow it. Like, bro. That's just, that, that was just horrible, honestly. Oh, I don't even think I mentioned this from the America trip. But there was this one place we were going to in New Hampshire, and like, um, we were going to be late getting to um, our place, like where we were staying for the day, and like, oh my god, your man, like, I could tell from my friend that she was like, starting to get, well, well, well a bit, like, not hasty, but like worried and like, not annoyed at him, but like, Maybe a bit annoyed, I'm not too sure. Maybe on the inside she was feeling quite annoyed, but, like, the man was just being, like, so fucking just, like... Like, it's not misogynistic, but, like, being very impatient with her. And, like, I had a feeling that the guy that was on the phone hopefully was a different guy, because, like, the moment we reached the place and I showed my face first instead of, like, that other, like, instead of my friend, like, they were just happy to see me. Like, in person. And, like, my brain first interpreted it as, Oh, you fucking misogynistic cunts. Like, I swear down, they were talking down on her just because she was a girl, like, and that just really fucking did my, like, head in, like, honestly. Like, obviously, I do fucking joke about certain st stuff like that, you know, and whatnot. And, like, you know, haha, yeah, funny woman, go make fucking sandwich in kitchen and all that. But, like, this was, like, actual misogynism, possibly. But again, hopefully that, like, it was just a different guy on the phone. He probably wasn't having a good day or some shit. Because, like, I didn't like the, like, way. Because, like, afterwards she was, like... I think she was, like, playing it off as if she didn't really care about it. But I feel like she did kind of care. But then again, this is coming from the guy that can't really read people that well. So take it with a grain of salt. I just felt offended on her behalf. Even though I don't need to. I'm every typical fucking, like... Uh, not white knight. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess white knight in a sense, where it's like, or even just typical fucking, like, Twitter user just being like, oh, I'm offended on your behalf and all that sort of shit. It's not obviously just Twitter, it's like other social media, but I just thought of Twitter first. Um, actually, now that I think about it as well, moving on from that depressing topic, I've actually been, oh, new job. I've also been, like, fucking posting a bit too much to Twitter recently, but it doesn't matter anyway, because, like, underneath this stream... You should see, like, the Twitter feed first. Anyway. Um, let me see. So, what is the messages? Uh, I've only just realized that there are six fingers. What else have we missed? Oh, yeah! What the fuck? Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bruh. Well, t technically five fingers and one thumb. How the fuck did I not cop that on? Oh, my God. That's so weird. GG for the extra finger. Um, how much did they miss? And what was the, what's the next job then? Clean the fishing. 1,150! Bro, I was just saying that the tree house was probably the most expensive, but I think that it's on par with it. Wait, the, I cleaned that! Why does it say 300 odds? Why does that say 114? I cleaned them. And it has 5 stars and 100% as well. Bro. Wait, is there extra money to be made? Maybe. Maybe they added stuff to some of the old ones. Or maybe it's just bugging out. Okay, let's see if we can find another 1,000 again. Hold on. 350, 600, 500. No, 1,500. That's still the most expensive. 1,500. Oh, wait. 2,000. Never mind. 2,000 is the most expensive. And this is 1,150. I swear. Nah, I think that's it, yeah. That's mad. That's honestly mad. 
I don't know what the message was from... Wait, actually, can I view that message? I swear the world is getting weirder by the day. Last night I was out of my boat when I caught whiff of this glorious smell. Imagine if you took just the juice, juiciest little shrimp and enhanced all the bits of the flavor that you loved and removed all the bits you hated. Then added a little pinch of parsley. That was this smell. And by the way, might I mention that the finger is pointing towards the coast and we're going to be cleaning a boat next. Are we going to be on a boat and cleaning something out in the ocean? That'd be cool. Um, naturally, I followed it and I haven't... And hadn't got more than half a nautical mile due west when this huge wave came out of nowhere, scooped me up and beached me on the foreshore like a curious beluga. It's going to need a good hustling before I hit those waves again. Obviously, you must have gotten... How the fuck did you de-beach the boat? Like, holy shit. Because, like, the boat's back here now at the dock being held up by, like, this shit from GTA. That's the only w way I could reference it. The cranes. There we go. But, um... Yeah, I can't remember now. My train of thought is lost. I know I was talking about misogyny and my friend and the American trip and stuff. Um. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah, I don't think I've mentioned. I've watched, like, since starting watching Toradora, I think I'm actually going to watch the whole thing. If it wasn't obvious by me saying that, like, yeah, I really wanted to watch it, but I came on the stream instead. Because, like, I don't know. I might actually really enjoy it. I don't know if other people enjoy it, though. I think it's also one of those animes where, like, people really hate it, but I'll probably, like, really like it. Like, as I mentioned yesterday, Garant put fucking Love Life Superstar Season 2 in the trash category. And, like, it still hurts me now. It doesn't hurt me as much, though, because, like, I understand. Like, everybody has their own taste and stuff. But, like, they probably put Toradora maybe in that. Unless it's a good one, I don't know. It's an oldie for sure anyway. And, like, I have, like, the oldest anime I think I've watched to date now was Evangelion. So, like, I don't mind potentially going back and watching an old anime as long as it's good. You know? Like, before I had a stigma about watching old anime. Like, I didn't even watch the original Idolmaster. Because I had a stigma about watching old anime. So I watched Cinderella Girls first, and then eventually, like, I think I watched, like, Side M. Uh, no, was it Side M? No, I don't think it was Side M. It was, like, no, I watched Idolmaster, and then after, or Cinderella Girls, and then I watched Idolmaster itself, and I was like, okay, yeah, this is actually pretty good. I think the thing that really put me off was the pilot, like, when it, when it com came to my stigma against old anime. But then once you actually start watching the show, like, it's a lot different in animation style and stuff, like. But yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, like, maybe one day with Sherry Albert's story, we can reach that kind of stage where we can make a pilot episode out of it. I don't think it will, though. I think, if anything, Sherry Albert's story will probably just stay as, like, a light novel series. Like, like as much as I should have hope for my own story, like, it's, not, it's my first story. Like, I don't think anybody's gonna want to animate a story from a newbie. Like, let's be fair. And if anything, they'd want to probably just take the series as it is and rewrite it, like, if anything. But, I mean, to be fair, if somebody came up to me and gave me a few, like, maybe a couple dozen mil, just to be able to make a, like, either manga or a show on my uh, story and be able to rewrite itself, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I mean, Disney, you want to hit me up? Maybe we can make more anime for your platform. <laughs> you can even have me as a Disney Plus show, so you don't even have to put much budget into it right now. You just, like, you know, put the bare minimum in and you can go from there. But if anything, though, Bungie would just probably buy my stuff for the IP. Because I think that's what Bungie, or Bungie, fucking Disney really do nowadays. They're just, like, they buy a lot of IPs, and then they just give creative freedom to, like, whoever is the head or owner of, like, said, like, IP, you know? So, like, imagine how weird that would be if I actually just had access to fucking Disney's, like, billions of fucking dollars, like, just to be able to create this story, like... I think it'd be a cool prospect, honestly. Or even, you know what, Irish government, you're looking for me to do a job. Why don't you help me with this? Together, we can publish an Irish manga. An Irish light novel series. And maybe even an Irish anime. I'm, oh, man, could you... See, that's one of the things I'd also do if Sherry Aubrey's story ever got an anime. I would see if we could possibly... Like, obviously, for the Japanese, like, dub, which at that point, it would probably... Well, no, we'd count it as, like, sub. For the Japanese sub, we'd, like, obviously, um, fucking, whatchamacallit, we would, uh, obviously have, like, any voice actors, like, Japanese voice actors that were good, 
And obviously, if there's some, like, if we could somehow find good Irish Japanese, like, wait, Japanese Irish speaking, no, Japanese speaking Irish people to voice the characters. Obviously, we try and slot them in because a lot of like the I did kind of just spoiled it a bit there, but like, yes, Sherry Aubrey's story. Obviously, the best reference for areas and places I have is in Ireland, so obviously, I'm gonna use that as the kind of like experience and thing but i also just want to include more irish people in fucking media and anything so like it'd be cool for that the dub bro we have to find the fucking bro like depending on like where the characters are from we need to find like various accents from ireland and have them play as people in the like th series or even people that can mimic an irish accent that don't go like this you know bleeding high like octaves and Trying to speak as uh, though they sound Irish, but this is not Irish, you know what I mean? Like, gosh, Robert is, you know, like, uh, you know, like, if you're from Northern Ireland, you kind of sound more like this, you know? I uh, like. Oh, no, wait. Oh, what's the other accents I'm thinking about? If you're from. No, I can't really do other accents. I know Northern Ireland one, because you kind of have to do this in the back of your throat. But, like, I, again, I just. It just would be so cool. Just, like, for the English dub and like what not to actually have um actual like irish voice actors voice acts the characters even if it does kind of ruin the characters in a sense but still I i'd be like yes this is it the irish representation um obviously if there's characters that aren't like we'll say irish tied we obviously wouldn't need to give them irish voice actors we can give them other voice actors but as well as that, it'd be so interesting if I could ever get an Irish dub of the show done. Like, I could hit up the Irish government and be like, okay, right? Here's my, like, anime. You guys like to make Irish stuff, right? If we... If you guys gave us the funds and the Irish voice actors necessary, we will re, like, animate parts of the show. We'll extend some frames, cut some frames, and we'll do all this malarkey just to get an Irish version of the show out. Like, could you imagine how much, how much I could just fuck it? <laughs> I'm going fucking mental with power now because I just realised I could indoctrinate fucking like secondary school students and even primary school students with Sherry Aubrey's story. It's like instead of watching Cockamilish, you will now watch Sherry Aubrey's story for your examination. How fucking gas would that be? Like, <laughs> just, just, it's just like, oh, sir, this show like has like Irish speaking stuff, and it's like it's in an animation form, so they'll probably like it better. Like, bro, that would be fucking gas. Just hearing from people saying, Yo, bro, what the fuck? Why, why does my kid know what your story is and, like, is watching it in class? Like, like obviously, um, I don't know. All this is, like, wishful thinking and probably the dreams, like, if anything. Like, it's also kind of dream, like, if I ever made a game as well, that, like, I don't know. We had to have at least one Irish-speaking fellow. And obviously have subtitles for them, but yeah, I don't know. And again, I say all this, but I don't even believe enough in the story, so I don't even know how that works, honestly. It just, it just kind of does, you know. All right, it kind of does. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just fun to think about concepts like that. I do know though that I kind of like fucking raise my the bar for myself way too much a lot of the time. So eventually, like I'll flat like plateau back to the ground and. We'll start again, you know? It's just now that I'm talking about it on stream, I'm just getting excited thinking about it again. But, like, this is no excuse, though, to, like, fucking fast, like, edit, like, the series. I still want to edit the series as, like, slowly as I can to make sure I'm not missing anything. And as leisurely as I can. Because I don't want to, like... I don't want to turn Sherry Aubrey's story into a big, like, um... Like, a, a grueling task. At least now, though, I have methods, though, if it does turn into a grueling task. I can't mention the first one, but I can mention that I will probably take, like, a day break from it. Like, I do, like, other things maybe relating to it. Like, maybe, like, fluffing fluffing up the, uh, like, character profiles for characters and so on and so forth. Uh, doing, like, maybe working on the commission or more of the OST instead of the story itself. I don't know. It's just cool shit, you know? Like... I'm just, I'm just so happy that, like, this is essentially, like, as much as I say I should get a job and stuff, this is basically my job. And it's a job I currently enjoy. 
So if I ever do, like, let's say for whatever reason Sherry Opera's story does take off, I am probably going to start hating the series because that's when I'm like, oh, wait, shit, I actually have to now be constantly doing a lot of editing to the story per day to make sure I don't fall behind on stuff and whatnot. I'm, and assuming, like, if I do, um, if I don't self-publish, I'm definitely going to have to, like, well, even if I do self-publish, there's probably going to be some mental deadlines I'll set for myself, and if it's not self-publishing and published to an actual, like, book um, publishing company, then they're probably going to be like, okay, can you at least have, like, this done for this day and so on and so forth, you know? And it's just like, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't reach that point, though. Hopefully, like, it's all chill for the most part. But then that's also a worrying thing as well. If making Sherry Albert's story starts to become so stressful that I end the series early, like, I, I'd hate myself for that. But I'd also like that I'm finally just ending the streak, I guess, in a sense, and then just moving on to something else that I want to do, you know? But, um... Yeah, right now I'm just in love with the series because, like, I fucking... Obviously I'm going to like something if I'm still writing it and whatnot. Like, I'm, I'm not going to keep writing something I don't like, you know? Like, obviously it's in tune with my kind of taste of, like, anime and stuff, so that is to be taken with a big, huge grain. Not even a grain, just a pinch of salt. A huge pinch of salt, we'll just say. But, um... I don't know. It's just, like... Hopefully, I can tell the story in its entirely without trying to end it early, without trying to extend too much of it. Because, like, I will admit, like, right now I was thinking of, like, doing a certain amount of sections. But even after, like, um, a certain section, I was planning to maybe insert another section before this section and this section. And I don't know. We'll have to see and wait what happens, like, honestly. Because obviously, even if I do finish editing the series, I still need to, like, actually, like, um, get art done for it. Like, as much as I could, I might, like, actually just ask Yanti if, like, they'd be wide to, um, being, like, having their pictures placed in the, um, uh, Bleeding Light novel series. And, like, I was thinking at first as well that maybe in the first volume I could go over, like, oh, here's some other concepts and stuff, but I think to not, like, spoil people who buy the book physically, if I do actually even get it physically out, or even, like, if it's, like, cyberly available, digitally, should I say, nobody ever says cyberly, Joe, then it's just, like, um, I could save those other concepts for other times when I, okay, there we go. Um, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I need to take a break now, because I need to, like, go to Lou. So, give me a few minutes, and we'll be back to power washing your mother with three different nozzles. Actually, wait, I just realized, because we have three different nozzles, we can actually power wash the whole family now. Isn't that insane? Right. Whew. I am back. Now... Um, what was I saying? I was saying to myself something in the bathroom that I might talk about here. Um, converting to Nightflare channel is still in my mind. It's not really in person, or not in person. It's not even, it's not reality yet. I can't guarantee it. Um, oh, I can't get that properly. Right, I guess I have to go down here. To be fair though, these are really strong, so I should get them for the most part. Oh, but that's such an awkward angle to shoot this at. Come on. Come on. You want to do it. Might I mention as well, in Toradora, that fucking, like, the small character is so fucking aggressive. Like, holy shit. Like, I thought fucking Sundrays were, like, um, fucking... Like, you know, oh yeah, I don't really like her or anything. She, she's straight up not even Sundre. She's like a different fucking class. Like, she chose the Sundre and the fucking Brawler class at the same time. And that's like her, like... Also, the disgusting life as well. Because her fucking apartment, like, is really big and nice. But holy shit, like... Even I kind of felt queasy knowing that there was some green shit in the sink, like, that was censored. Like, I was just like, nah. 
<laughs> like, even the animators were like, no, bro, we're not animating whatever the fuck this is. We're good. Um, whatchamacallit? I don't know. I, I can't remember now. Um, I did open the window, so hopefully I calm down a bit. My fucking face is kind of just sweating. It's a good thing I don't stream with a mask, because if I streamed with a mask, I would be dead. This is why I'm a VTuber now. I have left my past life behind me. Like, I'll be real though, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've actually shown myself on camera in such a long time. Like, holy shit. It's so weird. There we go. Um, but yeah, I've actually been thinking more and more about doing like a Lloyd Forger cosplay for going to the Northern Ireland, uh, I was going to say Dublin Comic Con, the Northern Ireland Comic Con, and honestly, it might work, but I'm just worried about the expenses. Like, to be fair, though, I'd be buying myself a nice suit that would probably be decent to wear at, like, events anyway. Like, as I joked about probably yesterday. Oh, yes, I'm going to wear this lovely... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, sorry. It was, um... Oh, we're going out for dinner? Hold on. Let me get my good suit. I'd probably find every moment to be able to wear that suit, honestly. Because <laughs> it would just be, like, hanging up in my room with all the rest of itself not being used, like, at all. And then there's also the debate of, like, do I even dye my hair or not? And I think that for the best, I probably should just, like, not dye my hair. Maybe I should, like, um, shave myself, get basically a skin fade. or no, not even skin fade. Just basically, like, leave it where, like, I have a tennis ball head. That's the best way to describe it. And then, like, um, have put a wig over my hair instead. Hi, Doc. It's Leonard Cal's dad. Wait, Miller? Don't you mean Miller's dad? The volcano's about to blow sky high, and all that cleaning you did for our bungalow will be for nothing! No! Wait, imagine if we actually had to revisit the bungalow, though. That'd be so gas. Actually, now that I think about it... Wait, actually, keep, keep going. As I clean. The car is still looking good, though, and safely parked away in the garage. Thanks, Leonard. Oh, yeah, he's a dad. That's why he's fucking all capsing. Like, he doesn't know how to not all caps. Like, he's not actually shouting. Like, maybe. Okay, yeah, real quick, actually. Let me check something. Can I complete it? Let me, yeah, go into this, for example, right? Level complete. Oh, I can't even go back into it. What? Are you serious? I can't go back into this? Oh, this one, I still wore the blue as well. They don't even let me back in. So you're going to tell me I'm missing money, but I can't even go back in to claim the money. Okay. Cool. Maybe I'm not even missing money. Again, it's probably just a visual glitch. It's just a visual glitch, glitch fam. I can't remember where that meme came from, but it's so gas. Bro, this shit is just so tedious. I hate this so much. Ah, I'm stuck under the hand. I, I can't get up. Okay, I guess we're just crawling on the ground from now on. Uh, in other news, I don't even think I've mentioned it much because Destiny's literally not doing much for me right now. I did have fun the last stream, though, but right now I haven't been bothered to go back to it. There might be one more th secret mission thing in Destiny 2, and then after that, there's the, um, whatchamacallit, the... Oh yeah, and then there's the next season and reveal. Which, hopefully, I'll at least be watching the reveal live this time. Because I know last time I watched it, it was during Witch Queen, and obviously I couldn't, um... No, what? No, Witch Queen. Oh, yeah, no, it was the Witch Queen reveal, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah, and at the time, I didn't even have the, um... Oh, I... How, how do I... Okay, there we go. I just need to do that. Um, even though one of the streams going into the ground. But, um... Yeah, hopefully, again, I'll be able to watch that live. I think that'll be fun this time. Instead of, like, having to edit it into a video and chop out some bits just because, like, oh, this is, like, this, this, and this, you know? 
Oh my god, please, just allow it, like. Allow it, man. Allow it, man. He doesn't even give a fuck if you can. There we go. I never even talked about it as well, but... Honestly, like... It is such a big shame that KSI's fight is, um... Like, the initial fight isn't going ahead. I think everybody is kind of just, like, clowning on swarms a bit too much. But, like, it, the internet's the internet. It'll do what it does uh, best. But, like, I don't know. Especially after, like, all the videos I've watched of them two fucking beefing out. And, like, then, like, you know, coming to the fight. I even I saw, like, a clip of them doing a face-off kind of thing over, like, the internet. And it's like... I swear, like, you better not drop out of this fight and then literally you just go to a few months, not a few months, probably like a week later and he just drops out because of, like, an injury. Like, I wonder, like, if he actually was injured or if he actually did drop out or something. Because honestly, even, like, people will call him a pussy, even if, it, if, if he did, like, fake it and shit. But honestly, you're kind of saving your career at that point. Because a lot of times in the boxing scenes on YouTube, like, excluding, like, iDubbbz one, because that was for charity. Like, if you have beef with another YouTuber and you take it to the boxing ring and you lose, like, for a lot of the YouTube community, you kind of, well, at least a certain portion and certain size, side, should I say, like, you lose a lot of respect. And, yeah, you just start tanking. As Logan Paul said before, like, he's glad that, like, KSI has managed to, like, humble him a bit and, like, actually, like, you know, basically become his business partner and, like, now they're friends and they do shit together, which is just so weird to see. I think Logan got probably the happiest ending so far out of everyone. Like, in that kind of boxing, like, sphere. Obviously, KSI's living it, because, you know, like, he's fucking fought, like, was it three people by now, or was it two? I can't remember. And, like, he's won, like, all of them thus far. And then, obviously, there's the Swarms fight, which... You never know. Well, if he loses against Swarms, like, obviously people are underestimating Swarms, but if he's an underdog and he comes out on top, KSI will probably get clowned onto shit for it, like, let's be fair. And, like, um, obviously there's also the Jake Paul fight, like, coming up, I think it's next year, is it? It's something like that, anyway. Where, like, finally, like, Jake Paul and KSI are going to be, like, going into the boxing ring and they're going to be fighting each other, too. Um... I know it was a joke, like, KSI legit, like, before the fight was saying, like, or not, yeah, no, actually, it was before the fight, I think, where it's like, oh, yeah, you know, Jake, um, bleeding, if you want, get in my undercard and fight with us, you know, and then there's obviously the actual fight, and then, like, he even joked himself that, like, okay, maybe we should just switch to the event to be focused on Fousey and Deji, because honestly, like, a lot of people probably do have a lot more hype up for Deji and Fousey than they do for KSI and Swarms right now. Because even I'm kind of just, like, holding out for Je Deji at this point. I, I hope he, like... I hope he can take at least one dub. Like, if he can take one dub in the boxing ring, he puts his all into it. At that time, at the very least, he could actually, like, you know, walk away saying, at least I did it, you know? But to be fair, right, a lot of people do clown on, like, YouTubers going into boxing and stuff. It's just like, bro, do you know how much, like, fucking time, effort, and, like, balls you need to fucking go into a ring and say, yes, I am legally letting this person beat the shit out of me because I had a bit of beef with them. Or just because I want to, like. Like, thinking back on it now, I wouldn't do it. Like, even if it was for charity, I'm not gonna do it. I, like, I feel like I'm gonna get fucked, alright? Like, I, I'm strong, but I'm not that fucking strong. I don't believe I would be able to get strong enough myself. Unless, like... If I had a dedicated space and routine to be able to work out and do all the boxing training to myself and I knew the amount of time I needed to do all that training and all that, maybe there'd be a slight chance, but like, I'd probably be a pussy and pull out the last second, honestly. Like, I don't know. I don't think I'm willing to get beaten up, not for many reasons, like. Unless somebody said it was for Sherry, and it's like, all right, we're going in there. I am going to advertise Sherry Aubrey's story, whether I fail or I succeed. <laughs> it's just like, oh, Sherry Aubrey's involved? Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm in, I'm in. Do it. Let's go. Honestly, that that's really, that's the best way you can prescribe or persuade me to do anything nowadays. It's like, if it involves Sherry Aubrey, 
and her light novel series, then yes, I'll do it. For the most part. As long as it's not horrible. Or lewd. Because, like, the series isn't really related to lewd stuff. As I have mentioned with, like, the body pills and stuff. Because, like, yeah, no. Nah. But, I mean, that's not to say I know, wouldn't make body pills of certain characters, like Lyle and stuff. But, I don't know. It's just, like... It'd be a, a bit weird, maybe. Maybe a bit too weird. Maybe, like, of, like, fucking Joe Snowflare himself. I mean... What, would people buy that? Like, <laughs> a male body pillow? Maybe. You never know. But it definitely wouldn't sell as well as, like, an actual, like, uh, body pillow of a girl, you know? Because, I mean, let's be fair, though. A lot of the fucking body pillows of, that have been ever seen have always been of people's, like, waifus and stuff. Not of, like, their husbandos, as it were. But to be fair, I used to joke around for a while. If I was to ever get a body pillow, I'd get, like, fucking All Might on mine. But then there's also that other funny one where it's like, it's literally just a pillow resting on a pillow and turning itself around to show its non-existent ass. I think that's funny. I wouldn't even mind having one like that as well. Oh my god, it's so annoying. How the fuck do you- How do you spray in here? It's impossible. It's legit impossible. You can. There must be a way. There must be some way I'm missing. Hey, Joe, maybe it'd be faster if you did it this way. Oh, yeah, a progress report on me reading uh, the FNAF fucking Bible. Um, I've still not finished it. I actually had to take a break a few days just because I was like, bro, this book is so big. I need to, like, take a break before I can read another story. And, like, a lot of the stories are depressing as well, because it's children, like, getting hurt and stuff, and encountering these horrible, like, scenarios within the FNAF universe, you know? Like, you know, it doesn't spare, like, anyone, really. It's also, like, depressing when, like, they build up this story about a character and usually their family, and then bad things happen to them, and it's like, bro, they're families, though. Like, it is funny seeing children getting hurt in, like, thing videos. You know, not ma like not fucking major injuries. I mean, like, minor ones. Like, in fucking, like, compilations and stuff. But, like, actually reading about it, though, is a different story. I, c I care more for fictitious children than actual children's, like, well-being. <laughs> it's just, like, that's such a funny concept. To be fair, though, also, to be fair, though that also extends to Sherry Arbor as well. So, yeah. To a certain degree. Okay, can we get on the ground? There we go. Because we are missing... Oh, yeah, we're missing a bit. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I forgot I could fucking... I have a third beam I can use. I'm just choosing not to use it. Oh, my God. Thank you. But, like, the back of the finger is very problematic. How long have we been going for? An hour and ten? Really? No way. How have we been going for that long? I swear, it only feels like I've been at this for like half an hour, maybe even like 50 minutes at most. That's mad. That's legitimately mad. Yeah, there's a bit in between the fingers, and then there's all this fucking dirt here as well. Is there like a short nozzle I can use? I don't think so, is there? Yeah, there's, no, there's not really a short one. Oh, but wait, in the shop there might be. Oh, there's new white again? Oh, it's just this, okay. I thought it was another new white. I'm like, wait a minute. Because when you think about this, right? The, um... They have all these, right? There is a short one. There's long, long... Short extension, but that's for Prime Vista. There it is, the Pro. Improves the range while still being able to use quite close to surfaces. I might have to use that one just to be able to get into thing. Wait, which one? Oh, did I buy the wrong one? Oh, I bought it for the wrong one. I thought it was for the Pro. Wait, this is the Pro, isn't it? Yeah, Prime Vista Pro. I'm so confused. Did I even buy it? 
Short extension. Oh, I need to probably do thing to it. Hold on. Wait. What am I missing? I'm missing something. I'm dead. There it is. Extension. Wait. Now that I think about it, though. Why wasn't I using that the whole time? Shouldn't I not, like, a... Oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. Oh, my God. I literally can go up to these corners now. And I don't even have to put the nozzle away from me. Okay, honestly, these two inventions were the fucking best things I've bought so far. Or not inventions, but add-ons for this fucking washer, like. And I'm probably going to need it again anyway for another thing, so it's good that I got it now. Oh, okay, wait, wait, we're still a bit too close. Even though I can spray right into... Oh, never mind, I can't. Okay, I can't face the ground. Okay, it's like here at minimum. Okay, I can get that little bit just... No, I can't. I can get this, can I? No, okay. Right, it's so weird because it's like you can get certain bits but you can't get other bits. Oh wait, <gasps> if I climb up here, I can get it, for the most part. Okay, I can get more of it, but I'm not entirely done yet. Okay, wait, and then I need to spray this as well. Fucking hell. There's still so... Oh. Oh, you know, actually, maybe doing this would be easier. Actually, how far is too far? I mean, that's still pretty far. To be able to... Yeah, see, to do that from here? That's pretty good. I might just leave the short nozzle on from now on, honestly. Unless I really have to reach in for something extremely long, like... Like somebody's thigh. Yes, thigh, Joe. No, no, not the other word, Joe. Thigh. You've dug yourself a little hole, but you managed to save yourself slightly. The hole is still there. You've stepped in it, but at least it's not the bigger hole. Alright? At least you didn't make it any bigger than it has to be. Oh man, now we're getting all the satisfying dings. I spent way too much time inside there. I forgot that, like, it, there was still parts on the outside to do, honestly. This is probably going to be a lot more satisfying, just because it's just, like... I won't even have to probably power wash that much just to get, like, the, uh, dings to, like, appear and all that. See, like, look at that. I wasn't even finished, but it's still finished for me. Because it's like, yeah, you got most of it. It's probably something, like, if you get 95% of it cleaned, you just get it automatic, honestly. Which is kind of a good thing, because, like... I think originally when the game first released, you had to clean every speck of dust. There was no excuse for leaving a speck of dust. I don't even think there was a dirt finder back when the game first released as well. So you had to literally go around the whole thing all over to make sure you got it. Like, all of it. Like, you couldn't do this with the dirt and you couldn't fucking, like, do other things as well. Like, okay, I've seen... Distal finger f phalanx? What does it mean, distal finger? I've legit no clue. Why do they have to use fucking fancy terminology for it? Just call it a thumb or a finger, like. Unless it is finger. Maybe it's back inside. Wait, yeah, inside's this way, Joe. Hello? Anyone in here that needs cleaning? I legit have no clue where to go. Actually, maybe if I run far enough away and view it. Ah, there it is. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. That legit, that was like a jump scare, man. Holy shit. And here we are, cleaning the whole thing. 
I watched this section now, it's just like, I just, it, it, so much time is just spent inside. I thought there was a sheep in the back there for a minute, but it's just thing, tumbleweeds. Fantastic job, Wishy. The sacred geometry, the six fingers, so much to get our teeth stuck into. So exciting and so amazing to finally see these relics as they would have been seen at the time. You're a star. Yeah, you know, actually, I was going to make the argument that you could always examine this, but examining it whilst it's, like, what it was meant to look like is even better, honestly. So, we've only the fishing boat and the other two. At the very least, we should look at the fishing boat. So, I swear, yeah, no, I already read that. Um, yeah, there's, I don't think there's anything else to say, except I might actually go get water real, yeah, I'm going to get water. I'll let you guys look at the boat whilst um, I get water. I just realized I was mute the whole time. Anyway, all I was basically saying is, like, the finger is pointing away from the volcano, so why is the volcano there? And I was mentioning that there's a lot of cats, basically. Um, okay, so, yeah, that's still connected the thing. I'm uncertain if I really want to go through this. Especially with, like, so many different things. What's the cheapest thing? Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. I don't think we'll get cheaper than two dollars, honestly. Okay, there's a door it said it wanted done. Hardly these doors, is it? I've got to say that in all my time at sea, I've never seen a wave like that before. Really? Not even with global warming? There we go. I'm racking my brain just trying to think of what could have caused such a thing. I'll do the other door as well. I'll I'll let him like see if he texts anything else, and if he doesn't, then I'll stop for now. It's the kind of thing you'd expect when the side falls off of a volcano, and there's a subterranean earthquake or some such. I wonder if they added lore into the game just because they knew, like, fucking people who could make theory videos on the game and not just play it for leisurely stuff. Right, anyway. Enough. Enough is enough. There we go. Right. Uh, yes, you might have just seen there on the screen as well. <laughs> Actually, let me just show you. We have basically, like, a, a lot of the Resident Evil franchise for 30 euro. 30 plus euro. I think it was like 32, nearly 33 euro. Ah, oh. oh, hey, Luca. You're just on time. I was basically going to just do a little de like display of the um, Destiny 2 Eververse shop and then go off for today, but you're here. Welcome. And yes, actually, I will mention that now. Whilst you're here, if you really wanted to, you could actually, like, um, uh, 
it doesn't matter if you're late or not. It's just I've already been streaming for like an hour and a half and I said most of the things I wanted to say during the power wash segment of the stream, but I'm mainly like streaming to try and get the uh, follower goals out of the way. Because if you see on the screen now, to the left of me, I have like, um, well, not left of me, my right, your left. <laughs> Among Us. I don't think you did, now. You might be hearing things now. But, um, what was I going to say? Bleeding. Yeah, if you see the follower goals, um, the 65th one has still not been done yet, and I need to do that eventually. Super deaf right now. Well, I'm hoping I'm speaking okay, and if I am not, then I apologize. You're probably, you're just like me now. Like, you, like, like you're a bit deaf and you fucking start, like, hearing people say different things. They're talking, they uh, fucking yelled, fam. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Honestly, I, I need people to really yell at me when they tell me things initially, because I will... Like, sometimes I do it as a joke, where I mishear things, but a lot of the time I'm not even joking, like, legit. Like, somebody could tell me, like, um... Oh, we're going to walk over there, and I'm going to be like, Wait, you want to fuck the dog over there? Jesus, man, what the fuck's wrong with you? And it's like, no. Joe, just stop. But, um... Yeah, sorry, follower goals. Whilst you're here, Luca, if you wanted to... You could decide the um, 65th and 70th follower goal. Unless somebody else pops in the meantime and takes the 70th one, but yeah. I obviously have the 71 there as well, but that's only when we hit 71. Text chat. Oh yeah, I need to show screen. Text chat enabled. Text or The issue affecting tax, uh, text chat has been resolved. Text chat has been re-enabled. I forgot that was even disabled, honestly. Yeah, even if you don't decide anything here, I'm still going to show, like, the Eververse store anyway. So, the 65th follower one was spending silver in Destiny 2. I only have 1,400. I said I had 1,100, so I apologize for uh, saying anything earlier. Wait. Wait, these shouldn't be in the store. Wait. The event's over. These should not be in the store. What the fuck? That's so weird. These should all be gone. Wait, are they here as well? <gasps> oh, they're still here as well. That's so weird. Sorry, I just had to look at that real quick. Because we even have this shell as well. The seashell shell. That's not a tongue twister at all. That's so weird. Why are they still here? It's a pity I didn't just say spend something in the Destiny 2 Eververse store. And I just said spend silver. Because I have to spend that 1,400 on anything that's silver related. Uh, there's a seashell. I think the black and green goes well together. But anyway, I'm going to start like going over stuff. Obviously, in the uh, main part here, we have the offers. Well, I say offers. There's only really one offer. And the rest of them are just kind of here. We have the seasonal stuff, the archive of mostly armor, and that's really it, I think. Because then, yeah, there's only that. But usually still from here, cost thing, and that's bright dust, which we're not spending right now. And yeah. Season of the Haunted ends soon. Oh, yeah, and we also have these bu like bundles where we can see all the different shit and whatnot. But I believe, though, if I just go into seasonal, we could just view them one by one. Or do they say... Oh, they don't say charity item anymore. Because when I first bought this, it was a charity item. I don't know if they're still doing it, but... Because I think somebody, like a kid, actually, was the one that suggested making an emote like this. Which I thought was kind of adorable, honestly. Um. Oh, wow. Okay, so here we have four pages. Oh, my God. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. What, there's 28? Oh, my God. Wait, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32 pages of items that all cost... Uh, silver, except I just realized though, a lot of the um a lot of the armor sets won't be able to, I won't be able to get them because I already own, like, own them from grinding for them in the past without silver or uh, I just, 
own them in general because the thing I never spent silver on the thing before. Um, okay, wait. I think the best place to start is literally here. Even if you're not there anymore, it's all good though. Right. Uh, I can't buy that, so I won't bother. I can, I can buy a fucking starter pack. Didn't even know that for one thousand four hundred. And it's the Season of the Haunted Starter Pack. So one time bundled kickoff Season of the Haunted contain, contains three exclusive items and three armor synthesis. So this allows me to essentially like make any armor piece available and on any other armor piece cosmetically. And like I do that for quite a bit of armor pieces, so that wouldn't be too bad. There's the Hot Rod Havoc. I don't use sparrows, but this one's kind of a cool one. There's the Retrofitted Roadster, which also vibrates, which I might actually use for a bit if I had that as a ship. And then there's this ghost, which, yeah, I, I was going to say, I assume also vibrates as well. Which, I think at that point, I would have to delete another ghost shell just to use this one since I bought it. Like, what could buy it. Depends, though. Uh, can't get that. It's way too much money. Can't get that. It's way too much money. Can get that, but I'd fucking hate if we chose the fucking, <laughs> like, projections bundle. I, and I'd only be getting two projections out of it as well. Oh, wait, no, that's why it's reduced. Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, it, it, it's reduced to 200 because I'd be buying two, like, um, projections. And these projections go on ghosts and stuff. And I don't use projections myself. I don't really like projections. I might get back into them, you never know. We have, okay, Solar Snap would be a cool one to buy, though. Look how cool that is. Like, imagine you're just about to finish an enemy. You click the button and you just snap. You're like Colonel like Roy Mustang if he was like smug. Well, even though he is kind of smug, but I mean smug in this regard. Oh, is that? Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was a... Uh, it looked like another armor piece for a second. But yeah, we have this. I don't know. It'd be cool if I had adventure outfit, but... Don't really care about it. Was it for? It's for Aphidian Aspect. I don't even use that. Then we have the Necrotic Grip, which honestly I would buy that personally. Like I love Siva stuff, and I use the Necrotic Grips as well. So like it's a match made in heaven. Honestly, I'd love that. There's this special bond as well that it's called the Bond of Battle Harmony, and I think there's a chess piece called something of Battle Harmony or Battle Harmony. I think it was a chess piece, or just an exotic piece in general. And it's meant to sync up with the exotic piece. I don't know what it actually does. I think the thing here just rotates, maybe, like a satellite dish. But still cool that they included stuff like that this season. Uh, we have an ornament for a sword I don't even have. Which, I will admit, looks cool. Um, but I would actually have to try and get the sword to be able to actually use it. And then probably never reuse the sword much, because I don't even think many people are using it right now. We have the <laughs> corporate sponsorship for another gun I don't really use at all, but I, I kind of like the colors, not gonna lie. We have the Huckleberry, the snake bite skin, which is cool, but again, I don't even use the Huckleberry. We have Black uh, Sunrise Saber, sorry, for Black Talon, which again, it's such a cool ornament, but I just don't use that gun, like a uh, sword, just say, not gun. Uh, we have the Electromagnetic ed Execution, which. I'll admit, I don't like this one. I actually don't like this ornament. So, whatever you do, do not tell me to buy that one. <laughs> but you still can. Obviously, it's your choice. Uh, Dream of the Sky. We also have here. Um, whatchamacallit. Bleeding. It's cool. But I just don't use Traveler's Chosen, like, at all. And same here with No Time to Explain. Like, th the ornament is kind of mid, but, like... I don't know. It is how it is. There's the springtime scales. Um, actually, you know what I will do? Because really, it's not really updating the model. It's more of just like... Uh... Followed to spend my silver in Destiny 2. I highlight the keywords in bold. There you go. Now that's the new title to stream. 
But yeah, sorry, anyway, we're on the Argus Scepter, I think it's called. Aegir Scepter. Which, honestly, that's a really cool ornament. I actually would start using the gun again if I had that ornament. It gives me, like, Gambit vibes, but it's cool. That's all that matters. Right, now we're getting into the emotes. So we have Conductor, which... It's not really much. I think it just does that, doesn't it? Yeah, and it just does that for a bit, and then eventually stops. He bows, and that's it. And I need to remember actually to change my armor set, but we won't do that now. We have Glow Stick Dance, which would make sense because I'm kind of like an idol fan. So, there is that, but it's not really... Like, again, I don't really like legendary emotes that much. We have Knitting Projection, which is weird how would they display it as a hunter icon as well here. Then, yeah, I think you, yeah, you stop it and then you just show them that you've drawn or knitted a whole, like, Guardian Tower logo thing. We've live Disco Dance, which I just don't like, so I don't really want to play it too much longer. So once he puts his hand back on his crotch, I'm getting off this emo. But I don't think it's good for it. Ugh. Sorry, I need to take that drink. Oh, never mind. He's not doing... Oh, there you go. That's it. Now, this emote, though... I said I didn't really like legendary emotes. But I wouldn't mind this legendary emote. I love that so much. It's literally just you trying to swat away swarm nanites from your face. Because, <laughs> like, your guy's like, Oh, no, I remember this shit from Destiny 1. Nope, get that shit away from me. We have Thunderous Sword, which I don't know what that's like. Oh, it's just like, oh, never mind. There's more to it. And then it just holds up, does it? Yeah, and then it just ends like that. I'm glad a lot of the emotes have proper endings that transition out, honestly. That was not that bad. We have four squad play. And that's it. <laughs> just that's it. We have ski, 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 ski. We have happy stars. Again, I don't really like the blue ones too much. Like, not even the ski one. The, like, finger heart ones. Like, ever since, like, I saw the music video for that... Japanese song. It's just like I've al I've always known now how to do the heart like with just fingers. It's just like if I think I see someone nice, I'm gonna do that for now. It's like hey, ski. <laughs> uh, we already viewed that one. Uh, we already viewed that one. There's this transmat effect, which is kind of cool. If it would like to play in full, it's like darkness themed, and then we also have the ghost purple uh, transmat. Which isn't really up to much, I'm not going to lie. And guys, that's that's only the first part. Now we need to go through all the armor sets that I can buy with the silver I have. So, we have the Intrepid Warlock Bundle, which I bought the um, chest piece with Bright Dust ages ago. Because I thought it was cool. I was even wearing it for a bit. But yeah, other than that, I don't really like the rest of the armor, honestly. I just kind of like the cloak. Um, I was going to say we could get that, but we can't. Uh, oh, we could get this from the Black Armory. I literally only need the chest piece and the arms, but, like, I don't really like it, so maybe not. Uh, I've owned that, owned that. I can get the, the Curse of Osiris set, which is this. Which is something, I guess, but... I don't know if I like it, honestly. Maybe the Vex head's kind of cool, but... That's really it. I uh, already got that. That's 1,800. I can get Victory over the Vault Bundle because I did the Vault of Glass. And they're only selling shaders and, like, synthweaves, so that's not even that bad. I think people had a hissy fit because they were selling shaders separately, but... I don't know. I think it's alright as long as it's not, like, too gameplay changing, I guess, in a sense. Wait, that kind of looks cool. There's like a weird white glow effect around the helmet. I don't know if that's because the shader, or if that's because, or well, if it's because the glow already being there, if the shader's doing the glow, but that's kind of cool. Um, we have the on guard finisher. I'll play that one more time because you didn't really get to see the full thing. See, that's epic. 
We have the Occult Orb. Okay, see, I was just restarting it there before it started. Which is, it's okay. It is how it is. We have the Ionic Spear. Which is essentially just shooting lightning into, like, an enemy. Which is not really that good, in my opinion. Uh, buy my blade, which I'll stop for a minute. And then play once it's ready. Uh, I don't know. Shatterpiece, or pierce, should I say? This one might be cool. Okay, yeah, that one's cool. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's even, like, a stasis one as well. So, like, it ices you all up for it as well, which is really cool. Uh, we have the Nova Pulse, which I think is not even that good. Maybe. Hold on. Let's see. It's like you summon a little mini, like, Nova Bomb, but it's a bit underwhelming. We have Stormbreaker. Mm, I don't really like that one. The Overhead Heal Crush. I think I like this one. Eh, nah, not really, actually. Never mind, I lied. We have the Flash uh, Kick from Season of Dawn, I just realized. They, they have the logos of where they're from. It's not that bad, I guess. We have the Whirlwind. Which is kind of cool, I guess. We have the Golden Age Drop Kick. Which, again, it is what it is. We Instead of Traverse Up Steps, we have the Mind Striders, which is kind of cool because it goes with like the War Mind theme. And it kind of reminds me of when I used to wear um thing all the time. The Transverse Up Steps, as I said. Oh, yeah, I just realized the Transverse Up Steps I have on already have an ornament on. It's a Vex-themed one. Um, yeah, so there's... Oh, this helmet is actually pretty cool. So it's like, if you play Deepstone Crypt, that's what this is based on. And like, if you wore that full armor set, it definitely would suit that. Like, that's pretty cool. I already have that. Uh, the Lay Striders are... They give me, they weirdly give me like an Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed Templar vibe, honestly. Uh, we have Coaxial Bonds for the Ephesian Aspects, again. But this time, it's all, like, Warmind kind of themed. Like, the wires split off and they have a little Warmind thing on them on each end. Um, we have... Oh, yeah, that's the ones I was wearing, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, we have the Crown of Tempests. Which is just cool. That's really it. That's all I can say about it. Except I already own that. Never mind. That's not an option. We have the Flight of Interception, which is cool. Um, it's just kind of cool, I guess. We we have this one, the want of lies and wishes, which is just wearing basically Riven's like head on yourself, and well shrinking it down, then wearing it on yourself, and that replaced the skull of Diaram Kara, which I don't really use. The conflux control is pretty cool, honestly. Like I I really love Vex themed armor, honestly. So like this really like sings to me, honestly. Uh, don't don't don't. We have Eyes of Mercury's of Mercury, which is just, it's basically some bracers, but with Osiris's symbol on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, Matter Flare, which somebody took somebody's work boots, I think, and just put them on as an ornament. Uh, owned, owned, owned. Oh, wow, I own so much. Okay, here we have the Gallahorn one, which... I kind of skipped out on because I didn't really... I already had a cool ornament. I didn't want another, like, ornament. Even though this is kind of cool because it gives that army vibe, but then I'd want to dress up as an army soldier in game. Symbol, symbol of Rule, which is basically just turning Aegir Scepter white. I think Dead Man's Tail does that as well. Except it's got a cool... Is that Aram Kara on the side of it? I think. That looks cool. I like the little pattern on it. Except I don't use Dead Man's Tail because I have a big dick. Um, Pharaoh Mancer just turns Tiku's divination into, like, just black. The Osteoraptor basically makes Hawk Moon black and with a laser, which I will admit is kind of cool. Again, don't really use the gun, but it's still cool. We have the Lamnant, which we just have this thing, which I'm assuming that's what the sword maybe looked like back then when it was being used during that battle. 
when a version of Clovis and um, Anna Bray were fighting off the Vex. Actually, why is this? I swear I don't remember getting this. Oh, cool. Thanks, Bungie. How am I meant to see that? That's where the actual thing is. And they don't even let you see that. Why is there not an option to zoom in and out? Like, uh, We got the... This, which I don't really like. I'm not going to lie. We've won for the Monte Carlo, which, again, I don't really like. I kind of get what they're going for, but don't really like. I already have for the King and thing. The Vanguard there has been there forever, but I just... I don't... Like, as much as I like Cade, I don't really like putting his color scheme on the gun. It doesn't really work with it, honestly. We've Bound by Oath. Uh, it's silver. It's basically like if you got the burnt version of this gun and just made it silver instead and turn, put out the flame. Don't really like it, honestly. We've Dream Chaser, which is kind of cool, but again, I don't even use Jotun. Like, that's the problem with a lot of these guns. All of these are cool. It's just I don't really use the guns anymore. This is a cool ornament for Xeno. I actually would be willing to get this because it just makes it Tech Mechanica themed. Uh, I already have that one. Conscripted. That just turns Traveler's Chosen silver, essentially. We have Ashen Icon, which, it, that's just cool. But I don't even, again, I don't even use the gun, which is just the shameful part. I wouldn't mind that, but yeah. A gun for the Eyes of Tomorrow, which, or an ornament, which I still don't even have. We've won for Duality, which I haven't picked up since the season it was introduced in. We have... Oh, I, I, for some reason, have the Vex Mythoclass ornament, but I don't have the Vex Mythoclass itself. Okay, good job, Joe. We have the Foundational Structure, which I don't really like. I don't even like Hard Light that much myself. This is cool for Izegnagi's Burden. I actually wouldn't even mind that as an ornament. The Atropus reminds me of Iron Man. But I don't have Divinity, so that's a big no as well. Uh, Pale Rider, which I guess I like this kind of theme, but like I don't really care that much about the gun. I already have uh, Feeling Lucky, that's for Hawkmoon as well. Which, again, I get what they're going for. Don't really like it too much though. Um, huh. Interesting. I like this. This is interesting, but the rest is like kind of meh. Okay, no. If somebody actually tells me to buy a fucking ornament for this gun, I'm gonna cry. Like, literally nobody uses Salvation's Grip. Like, I know people clown on older weapons not being used. This was added in fucking Beyond Light, and I bet nobody's using that right now. We have uh, Thing Mercy, which is what it is. Old Ways, which is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe wouldn't mind it. Depends. Binary system, which kind of boring, actually. With the, uh, basically the dark version of Outbreak, Outbreak Perfected, but I already like the one I have on. So, can we not do that, please? We have Equinox, which that's even cooler than the other black one we saw. Holy shit. Bro, straight, straight up, might just buy that. <laughs> just like, yup. Uh, sun and Sand and Sun, which just makes the gun red with a bit of pattern. Basically Crucible themed. Warclip Coil just has a flat head. Um, heated Exchange. This is all Hive, is it? Nope, that's just really cool as well. I really like that ornament. We have Truth, which is like this, just white. We have the Splice of Life, which obviously because it's Siva themed, I like it, but I've never used Lord of Wolves. Uh, we have a Sunshot Ornament, which is just making it red and a big heavy cabal, whatever you call this part of the gun, is added. We have Blind Fury, which is like, it makes the colony trials themed. Um, we have a Suros one, which I think that turns it back to the normal way it's meant to look. But it's weird that you have to buy an ornament for it to do that, but it is how it is. Another Trials Ornament for Ace of Spades, isn't it? Yeah, Ace of Spades. Again, it is how it is. Uh, Regal Deterrent. Don't really like it. Not gonna lie. The Four Horsemen, which that kind of suits it, honestly. I wouldn't mind that. Violent Exorcism. That's uh, just Fallen themed of the looks of it. 
like fallen skiff, even like Queen's Breaker themed. Uh, we've long lived the Queen, which I yeah I kind of like that. It's like a royal version of Telesto. I wouldn't mind that. We have the Lord of Wolves uh, Packmaster, which again does kind of look cool. I can't lie. We have Black Death for Crimson, which is a play on the name like for Red Death because that was an auto rifle just like uh, this gun. Which they're never going to add back, I don't think. They even have like stars and death tallies on the side. It's just cool. Ate my first rodeo. We have chaperone basically, but looking all like old and cool. Devil's Advocate. Don't really like it. Bloodline Memorial. Which looks really cool, but again, I don't even use Bastion. And like, I already have a primary fusion rifle that I could just pull out of the vault anytime, I think, so... Uh, owned, owned. We have the re basically the regal version of Jotun, which is uh, Yarn Grepier. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, it's it's kind of cool. We have this is cool for Deathbringer because it looks all like torn and like hard and sharp. But this one makes it look all nice and clean and futuristic, which I really like. Uh, a better specimen. It is how it is. It's moon themed. We have Father of Islands, which don't really like that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, We've Love uh, Induction, which is obviously for Thunderlord, which kind of looks a bit cool, but eh. Um, we have Big Blind, which is a gold basic ornament for um, Ace of Spades. Kind of cool though. We've one for Sleeper Simulant, uh, Bakanor. I think it's pronounced as, and I don't really like it, not gonna lie. Lucid Melody, I'd hate to get an ornament for this gun. Even though this is a cool ornament, I'd hate to get an ornament for this gun, because I literally do not use Lumina at all. Uh, we've won for Bad Juju, the Audrelin Decree, which is, again, just Calisthene, but I don't really like that one. This one's kind of cool, because it actually switches the skull to a Warbeast skull. Uh, it's just cool. Uh, done. Digital Ops, this is boring. It's literally just Maida, but black and, like, grey. Uh, Baron Wastes, which, don't really like that, not gonna lie. We've won for Taraba, which makes it look a bit more normal. It gives it, like, a little rack there as well. I don't know what that's all about. Um, we have General Relativity for the thing, and I don't like it. We've won for, again... Uh, Jade Rabbit, which, again, I don't really like it. We have Wishes of Sorrow, which basically just makes Thorn white, but it's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like that one. Uh, we have Patient Zero for Outbreak, which, again, looks kind of cool, but I already have Thing, but I wouldn't mind that, though. We have Pandemic, which is like all like tidied up and stuff, so I don't really like that one. This one's just kind of funny to me because it's like you're using, what's that again called? The Prospector. And you're just calling it like heavy machinery. Like, um, We have Climate Change for the Rat King. Which like, it's I think it's like meant to be all ice instead of thing. And obviously they put the rats in the stuff. Or you could just say they turned it white. So it is how it is. Um, we have One Terrible Scream instead of 1,000 Voices. Which I kind of like the... Like, uh, not cyberpunk, the... Not daft punk, what's the terminology? Steampunk kind of aesthetic to it. I don't know if anybody else kind of sees it as steampunk, except me, but... It's kind of cool, but again, don't really use the gun that much. Uh, we have the Colonel one for Ace of Spades. It really just adds the chicken, that's it. Um, we have the Darcy ornament, which basically just turns it black and has less, like, blue wiring. Uh, we have this one for Wish Under, which basically turns the bow into Yuramara Simp. Um, then there's Tangled Outrider for Trinity Ghoul, which is just kind of meh. We have Guardian Angel, which is, I don't really notice much of a difference, except maybe for this. That's really it. Bound Hammer, which is, I guess, a play on words for saying that this is like what the gun used to be. I think it's kind of cool. You have, like, Eris stuff all over it. You have this on it, and then you have all that at the end. Kind of cool. And um, we have Between Breaths, which is also kind of cool. But I all like... Like, obviously, the Taken ornament in upon itself is enough for the gun. Not ornament, the Taken look. 
Lupus Visage for the Fighting Lion. This is Fighting Lion, isn't it? Yeah, Fighting Lion. Don't really notice the difference. Oh, wait, I do notice the difference. It's Iron Banner themed because that's a wolf and there's the Iron logo there. Should be given out during Iron Banner, just saying. Anyway. Oh, God, I own so many. Oh, my God, how much do I own? Jeez. Well, at least we'll be speeding through now. Nah, I don't really like it. Honestly, not gonna lie. Oh, now we're actually into more emotes and stuff. Okay. So we got Disc Jockey, which I think plays sound. Like, when you actually use it in the tower, it plays sound. And then that's all he really does. He just keeps doing things, puts his hand up and stuff. We have Rot Shambu, which is basically rock, paper, scissors. Rock and paper. So that was rock and paper. If it's not rock and thing. Oh, rock and scissors now. So yeah, this is a... This one does change. It's like the one they added beforehand. I think it was... Oh, yeah, no, I'm thinking of Fortnite. That's the only other time they've added. They just wanted to make it holographic so they can make it... Um, a multiplayer exotic emo. We have bad scene, which is obviously, um, yeah, just going in with the pizza and everything is just in disarray. That one meme. We have rim shot. Didn't. Yeah, see that one play sound. I don't know if anyone heard that. We have the let me investigate. We even have the eye all zooming around and stuff, even though you can't see their eyes there. We have playing aeroplane, which would be fun to do with people in the tower randomly, honestly. <laughs> you just let them back down again. Uh, we have a flock, a vehement flock. Basically just bully me with crows, or death by murder as it says there. We have the pyrotechnics, which you just throw behind you and it makes a fire behind you. Make you look a bit cool. I'll do that one more time this end so you can actually see it properly. And honestly, when I first viewed this, I thought like your guardian was on fire, but he actually isn't. Or dare not, shall I say. We have feline fancy. You just sit on the seat, you turn around, and you're stroking a cat. I've been expecting you. I already got guitar solo, camping, we've Sabrage uh, Salute, which is basically just popping open the bottle with the, like, uh, yeah, with the knife. Some people can do it, some people can't, it just, it's the trick, like, to do thing, I can't think of words, I'm sorry. I'm running out of words because we've been on this for so fucking long. I didn't think I'd be this long telling everybody, okay, this is what we could spend with silver. But yeah, I have that. We have the Celestial Shell, which apparently a lot of people like. If the front of it was also starry, then maybe it would be cool to get, but I don't know. Its little pincers are cool as well. I guess it's meant to represent like a scorpion or something. Uh, we have Archangel Shell, which is, it's kind of, it's kind of cute, honestly. Just like nice and compact shell, like Rasputin gave him that shell, basically. We have a Fighting Lion. Basically, they took the front of Fighting Lion and put it on an orb. Put it on the Ghost Orb. Um, we have the Cosmo Shell, which just puts the ghost basically in his own little astronaut helmet. We've got the Hell Coin Shell, which looks like basically you're put into a retro game. I know there's a shell that like literally says like, oh no, it's a moon computer, sorry, because I think it's all moon themed. I know there's like a gaming, like a Game Boy Shell you can buy. I don't know if they have that here yet. We have the Star Devil Shell, which is kind of cool, honestly. I actually really like this one. Like, let me try and put a shader on it. What does it look like? Oh, wow. Okay, I kind of ruined it already. I, I kind of like that one. If you put a good, sh like, shader on it, it could look extremely good, honestly. Especially if you mess around with, like, what colors can go on what and whatnot. Oh, that's the... No, that's the Vanguard. Why is it all spotty? Again, I'm just saying, it's a really cool shell. Um, we have the multi-band shell, which I don't really like this one. I'm not going to lie. We have the orb weaver shell, which I also really like as well. It's like a spider-themed servitor shell. 
Um, if I could find purple again. It's not the best purple, but it kind of works out for it. Or even a blue. Basically, it's a cool shell. I wouldn't mind it. That's all I really need to say about that. Um, we have the phalanx shell, which is ridiculous in size it looks of it. I'd, oh, the only reason I would buy that is just to see how fucking massive the shell is. Actually, let me try something. What does a ghost projection look like? Okay, it still goes above the shell, but I was hoping it would clip into it, honestly, because that'd be so funny. We have the lander shell, which, again, I don't really like. We have the lunar shell, which I think my mate bought at one point. Which is kind of cool. It's just a, basically the moon on the ghosts. I already have the harpy shell. I need to open this again. I haven't even seen the harpy shell in so long, man. I should replace the shell just for the harpy shell. Uh, void shell, which obviously just makes it void and all, like, thing. This is kind of cool. I wouldn't even mind the void shell. I, don't, I wouldn't really fancy the solar one, which, by the way, a solar one looked like this. I, I like the void one the most, but I have arc. That's the only one I have. Uh, PS1 shell. Out of those three, by the way. And then this one's weird because it keeps moving. I think. Yeah, see, look how much that moves. I don't even have to rotate the ghost. It just does it for me. Uh, I already have the gyro shell, which is, is probably a really cool shell. Like, it does all that. It's from, like, Destiny 1. Oh, and now we're in sparrows, which I'm never going to use any of them. So if we buy a sparrow, thank you for wasting my money. We have celestial horn. Which is obviously seven... I see. I say seven seraph. I mean like astrology themed. We have the Archangels thing again. Which is themed. Uh, we have the Fighting Lion themed uh, Sparrow. We have the Fire Break Rescuer. Which looks like a work Sparrow. Which actually is kind of cool. We have the Star Devil Racer. We have the Canopus Trium. I kind of like the floating orb at the back. Oh, and I like how it stands still when you put, like, when you boost in it as well. I like how it has a red trail as well. Sometimes I forget some of these have, like, unique trails. And then you have this where it's, oh, no, actually, that's a cool one as well. Cool kind of sparrow, honestly, not going to lie. We've, a banana kind of, like, it, it gives me kind of vibes of Fighting Lion, but isn't Fighting Lion at the same time. Oh, Wow. That actually bursts into flames just to go. With the Jotun Sparrow. <laughs> it just is a Jotun Sparrow. That's all there is to it. And they gave the same contrail effect as the last one. The Regal Howl. Which is obviously like Fallen themed. So like if we ever have like Fallen theme, Like if we ever get a third, like a fourth class and it's like Fallen. Sign me up bro. I'm going to buy this and then just use it on that character. <laughs> For like two seconds and then swap it to the fastest sparrow in the game. We have the Calypso, which don't really fancy it, not gonna lie. The Braycheck Dream 9, which is kind of unique and cool, but like don't really fancy it. The Dark Horse, which is kind of cool, not gonna lie. Oh, we're already on ships as well, jeez. Uh, this is cool. I'm trying to think why it's so cool to me though. It just is. We'll just say it's cool, that's it. And yeah, in ships, though, I wouldn't even mind a ship. A ship is actually really nice. We have the Archangel's Might. We have Firebreak Warden, which I don't I don't like that one. Celestial Kestrial, which is okay. The Halicon Corvette, which is extremely long, which would be funny to see. And it even has a little shuttle on it as well. Uh, we have the Atlas uh, Hauler, which is... Kind of reminds me of an X-Wing, honestly. So, actually, can I color that red or orange? Oh, bro, the only time I want the Vanguard ornament to be orange, man. Ah, come on. There's got to be, like, an orange ornament. Or not ornament, eh? Come on. One of yous have got to be orange. Yes, Joe, go to the Guardian Games. They'll help you. Oh, it's not there. It's just, I don't know. Oh, wait, this one. No, wait, X-Wings are more white, aren't they, actually, now that I think about them? Are they? I can't remember. It's giving me vibes of X-Wings, anyway. We have Star Devil Predator. We have the Callisto Lancer, which kind of does look a bit cool, I'm not going to lie. The Solar Sails, which I understand why they made it like that, but I don't really like the ship. 
Uh, we have the refashioned uh, shapes, which is basically Eris's old ship, but they slapped a little bit of like um, Scarlet Keep stuff on it. There's the uh, Ashin Nide fixed wing, which maybe if you had a different ornament, it'd look nicer. I don't know. Yeah, see, if you had something like this or this, it doesn't look too bad. But it still has Ting now. Oh, that's glowing at the end. I don't know why. Is that always? Yep, that's always glowing. I don't know if that's a texture bug or not, but it's there. Uh, we have the Proteus, which I don't like. And the Black Peregrine, which is also a longboy ship, which would be funny to have. Oh, wait, I back out. No, I'm such a fucking idiot. Shit, okay, now we need to go all the way to the end again. There you go, just spam both of them at the same time. Oh no, yeah, okay, it's not going to make a difference, Joe, just spam this. Okay, we are in ships, go back, there we go. Okay, so then, now we're into the last bit of emotes. We have the conga line, which I believe, yeah, see, it says, shows three people, but I think any amount of people can join it. I think it's an infinite one, probably. Because it'd be weird if it was conga line, but you could only have up to three people. Uh, we have the slow jam, which is just you dancing with another guardian. Uh, we have the straw dog standoff, which is the Spider-Man meme. Which I think would be kind of cool if you come across guardians with this same armor set, for example. I've seen that at Comic-Con itself. Obviously, I have the cat ear dance. Uh, we have no signal, which is not really that good, I don't think. And it doesn't even have a thing to finish it. We have the baby shark emo. You can tell it's in the rhythm of it as well, because if you overlay the music, it would probably sync up. The shark doo doo, brother shark doo 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 doo, brother shark. And I think if he does the big one, it's like, yeah, daddy shark, do 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 do, daddy shark, do 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 do. I fucking hate my life. Please kill me now. Uh, we have frigid contemplation. Honestly, that's a cool emo. I don't mind that one. That's actually really cool, and they even have a fade out animation for it as well. It's a pity though that you don't actually spawn those stasis things, you know. And it says specifically as well, warlock emo. Which kind of makes sense, because these are the Warlocks ones. Oh yeah, so obviously if you want me to go t check out the Titans and Hunters for armor sets and all that, yeah, I can do that, but... I'm just staying on the war like Warlock, because it's just the easiest, you know? That's just playing with a ball. I think that one's the best one so far. This one's actually Void, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's actual Void, and then th is this actual Solar, isn't it? Bro, that's so weird how... Oh no, I think it's an emo. I can't tell. You're sharpening the blade... Then there's the Storm Caller's Patient, which can do... Yeah, you can change it a bit, if you can see that at the top. Let me... Hide. No, okay. I, I guess I'll back out of it again. And now I have to go all the way back to the end, all over again. You swear I'm trying to pad out runtime, but like I, I, I'm basically nearly done right now. I'm probably going to go off soon. And then we'll probably try again later to see if we can get anyone to decide like what to buy in the Eververse store. And then see what people want me to play for the next stream after the next. Uh, oh yeah, actually, never mind. After that, it's all owned. So, everything I have shown there is available to buy for the most part. Except the few that I said are either owned or not, like, or just too expensive. So, if you want, you know... Now's the chance to basically say, yo, um, I, I just followed there. The notification come up in a minute. Uh, can you buy the thing from Eververse, this thing? So I'm going to give it a few minutes, actually, for a second, because I need to check something. Even though I am dying of the heat and my computer is not helping it. Like, honestly, if my computer didn't heat up so much, I actually wouldn't be that bad off right now. Man, I'm still getting fucking messages, like, emails from the airline saying, like, Oh, lol, another holiday time. It's like, no. I, I, I'm done with big holidays for today. Uh, play something. Uh, 
Right, let's see. Sorry, I just need to check this real quick. Uh, go to the top. Uh, so let's see. Okay, it looks like that. It, this is just like plans for tomorrow. And the reason I'm leaving the stream on right now is like if anybody does in the meantime come in and be like, yo, I'd like to decide one of your follow goals if you don't mind, you know? Oh, and I just realized if somebody new comes in and they follow as well, they get to decide like three things unless Luca comes back and is like, yo, I'm going to decide that thing in Destiny for you. And I'm also going to decide what you play next stream. Or what to return to, sorry. Not, it's not what to play. It's what to decide like what game to return to. You'd basically have to go back onto my channel, like, just to see, like, thing. And even old videos count, for that kind of sake, as well. Oh, <laughs> my mate even said here part way through the conversation, like they were wondering where I was, and it's like, Joe is streaming, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> His phone is always on silent. Yes, that is true. Yeah. Probs won't see things until he stops streaming or and checks his phone. Uh, I need to get up and dress since I got a few things to do. I shouldn't be reading that too much out loud. But I'm not really fucking leaking too much information. This is just like all shit to do with um what we're doing tomorrow and whatnot. So what about me is involved in this? I know I'm going to be going there too, but what is... What was meant to be said to me? Stream soon, so if you need to <laughs> Right, anyway, um as I said already when it comes to the follower goals, literally all 20 whatever pages of stuff is basically the shit that you can choose to buy. Like at some point, I literally just need to sit here and just twiddle on my phone and just wait to see if anybody comes in and be like, yeah, yeah, I'd like to decide this, this, and this. Because honestly, if we don't get anybody to decide soon, I might just put expiry dates on the other old like follower goals, honestly. Because I know I'm already going to do that for like the 71st follower goal. And the expiry date, by the way, is basically going to be a week. So, like, the week in, uh, if somebody, like, you know, let's say somebody follows now, and they somehow, for some reason, just follow, and they don't even bother, like, wanting to choose the follower goals and stuff, the, like, latest follower goal will only be around for a week before, like, I basically just repurpose it for a later follower goal. I think that's only fair, to keep things moving, you know? And so I'm not constantly being like, yeah, guys, come on, we gotta pick these follower goals, come on. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not streaming anything else until we get this shit done. I really hope they didn't... I'm not going to say something offensive. They both sent voice messages, so here we have uh, my Brandon. Hello, Twitch. And here's Aaron. I need him. Oh my fucking god. Why?
You know, actually, real quick, I need to check. So, that's Tang. I might do that eventually. I might do a streams with mates soon. Well, like, maybe later today if we're doing Resident Evil stuff. But I'd need to check out, like, what order I should play the games in. Let me just check something. I'm going to check on Twitch to make sure I'm not banned. Because I did say the S-I-M-P word once. Okay, no, I'm good. Nobody's going to just report me for that. <gasps> oh, the fucking thing over here. If you pull out the extension just over here, you'll see that, like, you know, it actually shows my Destiny shit. That is so cool. Trial stats. Two wins, one streak. Let's go. Bungie gift sub bounties are offline. Well, you wouldn't even be able to give me a sub anyway. Wait, actually, could you give me a sub if, like, Bungie allowed it? Viewer bounties. What's to say? Gift subs for any Twitch streamer live streaming Destiny 2 with the official Twitch expansion active. You get 5,000 Glimmer, 12,000 XP, 3 Enhancement Cores, and 3 Twitch, Twitch Watcher Shader or Shade Shaders. Wow. Okay, you have to pay 5 euro essentially for all that. I mean, if you really want them shaders though, and Enhancement Cores... When a Twitch streamer completes a Trials match, react to the match results using the options that appear shortly after the match ends to gain progress. So 200 trial you get 200 Trials rep, 5,000 Glimmer, and 12,000 XP. Actually, let me show this real quick. This is what I'm on about. We're going to get a little bit of a... Yeah, whoa, this is trippy. We're seeing me here and me there, you know? But anyway, we're not going to show that for too much longer. It's going to become fucking trippier and trippier the time, the time goes on. Um, I could have left it, though. It would have been funny just to keep seeing it go, but we're not going to. Um... Oh, man, what is it? There's something. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The... I didn't even mention it last time, but, like, the... What are they? Uh, Bungie are actually introducing a new Crucible mode called Eruption. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Because it's cool that we're, like... Rift is new to Destiny 2, but Eruption is actually new. Like, fully new. Like, Destiny 2 original new. I say Destiny 2 original, but it was probably in another game before, and they're just like, eh, we'll take that. <laughs> it's just like, yep, that's ours now. But you can't really fault them, though, because, like, there's only so much creativity that you can have with a game mode before it just, like, or with a game before you have to start, like, copying others and doing all this shit. Oh, actually, before I even go, I need to do this now live on stream so I have an excuse to do it. I'm going to do the unthinkable. I'm actually going to go to my Bungie, bun, Bungie, 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 Bungie page. Bungie.net. And I am going to... Uh, this week at Bungie. Um... No, I don't want to be at This Week at Bungie. Why am I at This Week at Bungie? I want to sign in. No, I want to sign in. Are we at, like, even till this day, I still use the Xbox sign-in. Because it's just, like, it's just so much easier. Past seasons. Claim digital rewards, was it? Or, no, wait, it was... Oh, it's season progress, isn't it? Oh, wait, I haven't even claimed my powerful engram yet. Have I not? I can even claim an emblem as well. Oh, two, three, four, five. I could claim five engrams. Bruh. Bungie Rewards Pack. I didn't even get another one of those yet. I don't think there is, though. Okay, I guess real quick. Let me just claim these uh, emblems, I guess. Reward applied. Reward applied. Uh, can I claim this? Reward applied. This reward has been applied. The next time you sign in to link Destiny account, the thing the offer will be delivered to the postmaster or applied directly to your account. Sorry, I had to just do that real quick because I didn't even know I had shit to pick up here in the digital reward section. It's not telling me I claimed the other two emblems though. And I need to claim them before August 16th. So I'm lucky I'm here to actually get this. Digital rewards. Oh, now I claim that one. And then there's a solar emblem as well. There we go. Now I don't know. Wait, how, what? 
Did I get that? No, I don't think I did. Yeah, no, I didn't get that. That's the new ones. Okay. For a second there, it said, Carry 10 guardians through battle disciple. I'm like, wait, I never did that. What are you on about? Anyway, sorry. Um, I need to go... Where is it? Collect Season progress. Literally, it's the top one, Joe. And then we got uh, Season of the Haunted. But we also have the last season. So, let me just go through this real quick to make sure I claimed everything from here. Because obviously, like, next season's coming up, so I probably should, like, claim most of this shit. To claim that. I already heard that go into my thing, so that's good news. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. At the very least, I'll show you the screen. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, it actually tells you here. Unclaimed rewards. You have total one claimed reward on this character. Total five. So, 65 reward exotic engram, an engram with the predestined outcome contains an exotic, any possible rewards came collected. So, I don't even have to check through the pass anymore, I don't think. Wait, do I? Wait. 65? I have them, though. I don't know what that means, but okay. Let me just show the screen. So, I'm just here on the Bungie net page, just claiming some previous stuff. Can I just claim that? There we go. I heard that in the background. I don't even know why I got an extra engram, but you know what? I won't argue. A free engram is still a free engram. Uh, tick, 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 tick. It said I have five rewards, but I've only claimed two so far. Unless it's on the other characters. Yeah, okay. I've claimed all that. Let me just switch to current season. Oh, it still says there's one, though. What one is left? Maybe it's on the other characters. Okay, we can claim that for the hunter. Uh, tick, tick. We're getting all the ticks here. I'm sorry this is the most boring things to do, but like, I'm doing it anyway because I can. And plus, besides, like the um, Destiny content is basically going to move to all the other channels in the future anyway. Because I'm almost certain I will do the thing that I said I was going to do with the Nightflyer channel and turn it into Sherry Arbor's story channel. But I'm just delaying it right now because I just am. Tick, tick, tick. And because I actually have to record videos for it. Oh, yeah, see, now there's nothing. But I still want to check the Titan just in case. Okay, yeah, no, there's nothing here. You have a double check through, though, just in case. Because sometimes it can bug out. And not tell you that there's something you need to claim. Okay, yeah, that's it. Right, sorry, I just needed to do that real quick. Because, like, with the current season stuff, I can just wait until, like, um... I can literally just wait till the next season to do all that stuff. Like, the end of next season. Um, I'm legit trying to think if there's anything else I need to do. I don't think there is. Except, obviously, I need to check my inventory, because I got... I got Variety's Brow. Actually, let me show the screen. I got Variety's Brow 68. Oh, that's also 68 as well. Bro, that's good. Why is it so much? Why is that so little? 63. Cool, 63. Oh, wow, well, actually, we don't even need to delete it. We just need to infuse it. Ah, oh, man. I love, like, when the game gives me a break and lets me infuse things with thing. With, uh, thing. That's a long description. With glimmer. There we go. Couldn't think the word. Oh, how is there no ornament for this? You swear there'd be an ornament for a helmet like that, maybe. Wait, what does it even do? Energy weapon kills boost grenade damage. I don't even know if that's good or not. 69. That's 60. They're the old ones. They're already infused. You're 60, uh, you're 69, delete. <laughs> Just that, that's the simple logic of it, honestly. Um, we could go to your characters and do other things. We could do that. Oh, I still have the silver leaves. Ha, Bungie, you're not taking that away from me. I have now silver leaves. I have the fucking Guardian Games contender cards on the other characters. Like, as long as you don't report it as a problem, Bungie probably won't do anything about it. Which is why I love doing that. I love having it there. Sure, it takes up space, but, like, it's cool. Um, Resident Evil... Uh, 6,000 is not the max, is it? I swear it was, like, thing. Hold on, wait. I need to go to the uh, helm, I guess. 
because I, for some reason, chose Helm first. And actually, whilst we're here, we're going to see if I can... Um, we're going to see if I can get deep sighted, and if I can't, then I will actually stop, because I said to my mates that I'd literally be ending the stream soon. <laughs> and I'm still streaming. But yeah. Um... <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Um, yeah, we'll get like, get this one, for example. 6,000 is not the max. Yes. Yeah, wait, did I? I must have used it again recently. I'm sorry, I'm finding. Oh, oh wait, I finished it. What? Wait, are you serious? I was one away from finishing it, and I didn't even know. Okay, triple tap and four times the charm is actually good. Wait, okay, now I need to remember to go to the Enclave. Holy shit. Wait. Bro, think... Just because... Man, because my mates actually want to talk to me now, I'm being distracted by everything. Okay, I need to remember. Enclave. Get things out of all. Okay, let's see. How much can we pull? Um... Okay. Because if we have 6,000, we can take quite a bit of weapons. I don't think, yeah, there's literally zero heavy shit in here. Cool. Cleaning the vault out one deep sight weapon at a time. Oh my god, I just realized, though, the moment we go to the Enclave... Okay, so I might as well just go to the Enclave now. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just... Psyops Battlegrounds. Fuck, I'm sorry. If my mates are about to tune in the stream, be like, what the fuck is this Joe fella doing? He said be off soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I just need to do these little things, alright? They help my brain feel good. So I need to go to the Enclave, make the pul new pulse, probably store it away in the vault and never use it, and then we go from there. Um, do I need a pulse in a primary? I kind of, I could use a pulse in a primary. I might put the bow away, now that I think about it. Wait, can we do this before I land? Nope, I can't. Shit. Okay, wait, um, mm, Yeah, we'll do, we'll make the gun first. Shape. Pulse. Wait, was it not? A, was it a scout? Oh, it was a scout. Okay. I'll still make it, though, in case I ever need a craftable scout. One green. That's better than nothing. Uh, re fast reload. Epic. Perpetual motion. Uh, after automatic reload. Sounds good. Uh, improved actually in range of opening shot of attack. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to magazine. I like that idea. We don't do that, and we do this. Yeah, I'm going to be here for a while. Oh, my God. Oh, and I even got a thing done on it. Bro, why are all these things happening now? My mates want to talk to me, and I'm still here streaming. I'm such a bad friend, like... Oh, yeah, I'll be there, like, not too long. I should be ending a stream soon. Oh, fuck, you're actually here. Uh, no, Nothing's happening. The stream is definitely ending soon, I swear. It's not that, like, things started happening in the game and now I want to clean stuff a bit and then not go off, I swear. Please don't bully me. I swear, I just, I just, I just, I just need to do a bit of cleaning. Like, I need to take this, this. I can't do that yet. Uh, I need to do a bit of cleaning and I'll be off. I swear. Definitely. Because, like, I, I fucking... I started off this stream with fucking power wash, and now we're here on Destiny 2. So I don't know what the, else to say about that, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Uh, actually, I'll keep that just in case. Please do not hurt me. I swear, Brandon, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> uh, bro, I swear, it's not what it looks like. It's just, I had all these red borders in my vault, and they started, like, calling to me, and... They said, dismantle me and take my materials. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I was about to delete a rare weapon there. Let's not do that. 
And like, yeah, you know how it do be, like. I swear. I'm not even, oh no, I'm not done yet. Oh, oh, okay, wait, 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 I swear. I swear I don't have a problem. Um. Uh, that one. It doesn't help that I can only pick up four at a time now. They build up over time when I can't, like, dismantle them immediately. When you already have the max materials, it's just like, they just, the vault becomes their new home. At least I don't really need any of these other rolls, I don't think. I just kept them because they were red. Oh, but I'll keep this weapon, though. This is from the dungeon. So cool. It's like black and red. Wait, I need to... Fuck, I'm getting distracted by more things. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to put that away. Yes, red is the theme right now. Uh, I need this one, this one. And I think, yeah, they go into heavies, so I can just start with this again. And definitely the... No, not that one. I don't want the same one again. I want the bow. The bow, I don't like bow. Oh, yeah, that, like, uh, gun I showed before. Yeah, that one's a good gun. Uh, which one? There was the... Oh, well, I have two... Wait. Yeah, no, they're both the same thing. This is, like, what legendaries look like nowadays. It's so weird. It's so nice, though. How do I... That... Oh, that's not how you do that. Hold on. Wait. Give me a sec. If I could fucking open it and not show pixels on screen. Actually, there's another... No, there's not another gun. Okay, let me... Click thing. Uh... Hide menu, control, this one. Yeah, no, this isn't even exotic. This is a legendary. Like, there's a whole set of these weapons that are like this. If I go weapons... Actually, I can't even remember what... Wait, no, I know there's a book for it, though. This one. And if I go... Well, we have first the cool exotic sword. Which looks very fancy. We have this one, which is shiny red as well, just like the other one, which is just, it's just, they're just cool. They're just fucking cool. Such a pity that this is the fucking armor set though. Like, look how fucking ugly that helmet looks. Yeah, red mist, like. We have new purpose, which, again, just looks cool. There's nothing else to, else to say about it, it just looks cool. Um, Storm Chaser, which is the last one you haven't seen yet. Control. Wait, there we go. They're just, they're, they're actually good weapons as well, which is also weird. Because you wouldn't think something that looks good would actually function good, but... Nope, Bungie managed to do both, except for the armor. The armor is still fucking shit. Right, where was I? Weapons. Shouldn't take too much longer, I swear. Actually, wait, let's see how, <laughs> let's see how much more I need to do. Ah, oh, that's another one. Okay, this should there should be like at least one or two more after this one. Like that's in my inventory. Okay, maybe last one here. Hold on. Okay, yeah, now it's warning me of the max. So I'm not gonna do any more now, I swear. Uh oh that's 70. Why do I have why do I have that? Infuse. Okay, now, wait, no, put weapon away. Okay, quit game, Joe. Quit game, quit game. Exit. There we go. I've quit game. I'm proving that I have thing. Okay, wow, actually, I need to fix that. Um, where? Follower goals. Bring that up a bit. And just above chat. There we go. Uh, but then again, I, I I can't make it look good at all. <laughs> it's just it's just yeah, it's gonna look horrible. That's all there is to it. Anyway, I swear I'm going now. Um, unless you, like whilst you're here, you wanted to decide to buy something in Destiny Two for me with my silver, or if you want to decide what game I return to next, like in the next stream. Because other than that, I I'm basically done. I'm just gonna do the outro. So if you have anything to say, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin. What is pumpkin? Oh. Oh, I'm stretching.
pumpkin head. I do have a pumpkin head in Destiny 2. Uh, uh, and I don't think that's a game you're suggesting to me. It needs to be a game I've already played. Is it? Wait, hold on. Follower decides what game to return to, what game to play. Oh, wait. What game to play next? That's also a thing. Pumpkin head, get more. Wait, what do you mean get more? I'm so confused. What is this pumpkin head and why do I need to get more of it? Are you suggesting that I get more head? Because that's what it kind of sounds like. Twenty minutes till dawn. That's a game, isn't it? I swear that's a game. Well, I'm gonna open Steam real quick. Oh yeah, it is. Twenty minutes till dawn. Oh, that's the game you were playing. Yeah, no, I'll add that to wish list. Okay, it like if you want, I, I'll actually legit buy that and I'll do that for a stream. And, like, if I really like it, I'll do it for more than just a stream. So, yeah, can I just have confirmation? Another confirmation, just to double check? Because then I can cross that uh, follower goal off. I'm going to make sure to write it on the board as well. I see a yup and a yup, so I'm assuming so. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, what game to play now? So, uh, 70 FS goal... Chosen 20 minute and then brackets in wish lists. Right. Um, other than that, do you want me to like reopen Destiny so you can choose something to buy for me in Destiny since you are a follower of the channel? If you don't, that's fine. I can leave it to someone else and for another day, but like. <laughs> I hit 65 followers so long ago. No, yeah, if you want, honestly, I'll literally, I'm going to just reopen it now. And we'll just have a quick scroll through things. I already did, like, a fucking big thing. Unless you want to, like, me to end the stream now, I'll talk to you and, like, show you the part of the stream that's, like, um, thing. Pumpkin. You, you keep saying pumpkin. What is pumpkin? Is there something in Destiny? Well, obviously, there's a pumpkin-themed head in Destiny, but I don't think there's any ornament or, like, Weapon ornament or whatever or emote that had a pumpkin in it. Was there? I'm not sure Unless you're just trying to troll me. You probably are just trying to troll me But like you're doing a good job at it because you are confusing me Because I can't tell if you're being serious or not Where's my mouse? There we go back into Destiny 2 Where <laughs> Um, yeah, that's so weird. I'm going to have to make sure to mark that out now for the next thing. But yeah, I guess now my next stream after this is literally going to be um, bleeding, whatchamacallit, the 20 minute game, was it? 20 minutes till dawn. Try to have a bit of fun with that. Why are you crying? I'm going back to Destiny. I thought you said you wanted to go back in and look at the store, unless you were just saying pumpkin stuff, because it says you, perhaps. There's also the quick options here as well, if you want me to look at any of them. If you want me to... So there's this page. There's this page that has four pages. And then there's this page that has 20 plus pages. Some of the resident... Yeah, no, I saw your um, message on Discord on the notifications. I think at some point we're going to have to play that together. Maybe even on stream as well. I'm not sure about stream, but... Fire... Oh, the... So, I can't get that, obviously. I, I don't have enough, but I have enough for the solar snap. Dark matter. Where the fuck? Okay, wait. Dark matter. Dark matter. There's also the fucking flame set as well, which I could just choose individual bits to buy. Find. Are you trying to give me an ARG? I'm waiting. Dark matter. Okay, dark. I, I see dark matter, but I don't know what thing. It's probably hard to see because the stream... Actually, let me fucking hide follower goals for a minute. Just so you can actually see the screen a tiny bit better. Find dark matter. Um, 
I'm thinking of an ornament. It's not dark matter, but it might be the closest thing to it. I'd have to see the ornament again. Hold on. Um. Okay, I'm thinking of two ornaments now. Hold on. I have ultraviolet already. Um. Sh 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 she. Where is it? What are the two I'm thinking of? There's. Squall. Uh, fuck, where was it? Next find anime style. I mean... There's not anime style, but the Spider-Man emote is in the game and it's multiplayer. Um, oh shit, wait, I skipped past it. Where was it? There was like... There's a really cool looking one that kind of, I guess, fits the theme of Dark Matter to a certain degree. If I can find that rocket launcher ornament. Uh, there's that one. Oh, I'm such a failure. I literally went through every single ornament in the store, except the ones I owned. Being like, yeah, we can get this, we can get that. It's kind of cool, kind of sick. Uh, no, it's not that one. There it is, this one. This one is kind of, I guess you could say, a bit Dark Matter themed. Um, and then there's one other that I thought was really cool. I don't really think it's actually Dark Matter themed, but... I actually really like this one as well, actually, now that I think about it. But... Uh, dubstep more like it. Dubstep? Oh! Wait, yeah, actually, wait. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> wait, 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 I can't dubstep with my own mouth. That is an impossibility for me. Um, this one was actually pretty cool as well, actually, now that I think about it. It's all, like, black crystallized and stuff. But there's one in particular where I said, Oh my god, my pants are a thing. It's not this one, is it? Okay, yeah, no, this one's really cool as well. Like, there's something about these black ornaments that I really like. They're really, like... The, sh the way they shape them are really nice. But yeah, you may direct me if you are not satisfied thus far. But if you are satisfied and know what you want to pick, then try to direct me if you can. Pink gun, okay. Let me go back to the start. Unless, wait, pink gun? Okay, wait, so there's guns here. I think, yeah, all this is just ornament stuff, isn't it? And then armor stuff. Okay, let me find pink gun, or at least what could be the closest to pink gun. So I know this, this, well, this has a long pink spike. That kind of counts, but I don't think that's the one you're on about. Um, there's also... That's a sword. There's this one that has a bit of pink inside of it. A unicorn, basically, yeah. Um, there is... That one's actually kind of a cool one as well. Black and red. And the eye looks like it was glowing there for a minute. Oh, yep, it changes. Cool. Um, there's obviously this one we brought up, which isn't really pink. It's more purple to me, but I don't know. Raven. I think that was... Raven reminds me of the Hawk Moon. Where is that? Like this one. But I already own this one. And, like, this one's kind of giving me birdie themes. Especially after it's called, like, Hawk Moon. The one with the red and the glowing eye. So, this one? Oh, yeah, actually, it does. Now that I think about it, yeah. Bruh. I don't know how I didn't even see that until there. Especially with the background being a bird as well from Season of Dawn. I think it's, yeah, Season of Dawn. Uh, pink gun. So there's the peace thing. Ultra. I haven't seen this in a while. I just want to see this. There's no other reason I'm on this right now. I already have it. Uh, it looked like a raven head. Bad dog. Oh, if you go to this one, this one's a beast. The, like the war beast enemy in the game. This is their skull. That's the closest parallel I can bring to bad dog. Unless you talk about, like, a show name or a game name. 
Now go back one page. Oh, here, yeah. I already have this one. Yeah, I just earned it from an engram. Looks like they uh, split open the jaws for this one. They have oh no, they have two sets of heads and uh, four set like sets of um, jaw. We won't say jaws. We'll say jaw. Cause that's a jaw. That's a jaw. That's a jaw. That's a jaw. Ba -ba -boom, da -boom, da -boom. Down, down, where down, 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 where down. So yeah, that's that. Unfortunately, I already have that, so you can't really decide that. Jaws, yeah. Um, that one's kind of cool, but like I don't use the weapon. Jaws, dun, 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 dun. Is there any, I swear there actually is like I think like the Jade Rabbit advertisement gun is actually a pink gun. Very pinky. This one's a pink one. This is a pink bow. Uh, let me click control. There you go. Achilles Field. Achilles Field. Cuddly Tangle. Achilles Field. That feels like an actual name of the weapon. Field Tuning. I have this one as well. It's for a gun Polaris Lance, which I have not used in so long. I think it, like, I still even have to get the ornament for or not the ornament, the fucking masterwork for it, because it's just so tedious to get. Fallout weapon. This one or like one of the other ones I just passed? It looks uh, it looks like one. I won't be surprised. There is a lot of inspiration for a lot of the ornaments in the game from other games, honestly. I can't remember. Oh yeah, if you go to fucking... Wait. We're going to go a lot like back to the future for a minute here. If we go to this one... This one's, like, Halo-themed. Oh, oh good job, Joe. You fucking backed out of the whole thing again. Dumbass. Hold on. And I say it's Halo-themed just because, like, it came in during the 30th anniversary event and all that sort of stuff, and... I don't know. It's more... It is kind of more militarized, though, than Halo, but, yeah. Oh, you made up your mind? Please, sir, uh, do speak. It probably shouldn't be the fallout weapon because I actually already have that one. And there's obviously also like this as well where like you have like extra options here for other guns and stuff that... Oh actually this is also a pink gun. This is the one I think I was looking for. Is the advertisement gun. And then yeah. But yeah if you've already decided please uh, state that... Uh, state something. Actually, wait, there is a filter here, isn't there? Oh, there is! So, is it a... It's a weapon, isn't it? Because we were looking a lot at the weapons. I should choose Wavy Blade. So that's a weapon ornament. I think, wait. There's no other ghost finishers, barrels. Yeah, okay. So, Wavy Blade. Is that the name of the thing? Or is that... Like, what you describe the, like, sword as, or whatever. I'm assuming it would be. No. Okay. Elaborate. Whilst I scroll a tiny bit. It looks like a wavy blade. I mean, this also looks like a blade, too, actually. I just thought about it there. It's so cool. But this is actually a gun. It's not even a sword. Um. Wavy blade. Obviously, you can tell me to stop, because I'm just going to slowly, like, uh, go in between each of these until, like, you want me to stop at Tang. Because I'm trying to think myself, what was the wavy blade? It would be faster to go to the sets. The sets? Fire ornaments. What do you mean by sets? Oh no. What have I done? Weapon ornaments, bundles. I don't think there's any bundles here, is there? 
Oh, actually, yeah, there is a, there's armor bundles, Joe. Oh, wait, I don't want to click that again. I want to click uh, weapon ornaments. Okay, wait, I'll stop for a minute. You just said next one, but I don't know where you said next one for. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Because there is, like, I think at least a five-second delay, even though there technically shouldn't be, but it is how it is. Okay, do you mean next one here? Or do you mean about the... Above the place where you click the archive. Above the place where you click the archive. Seasonal? And then wavy blade... Oh, you mean soul bright. Is this it? Is this the wavy blade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. To be fair, yeah, I should have copped that on. I should have copped on was this, but because it could have also been. Don't worry, I'll be able to find my way back here. Oh yeah, it also could have been like. Um, well, this isn't entirely wavy, but like it is cool. Um, I think there's something else there, but I won't go too far. So, right, do you want to lock in your answer then? As the wait, as the sixty fifth follower goal determines that I spend silver and Destiny two, do you want me to buy this weapon? Yes, Wavy. No, XD. What do you mean, no, XD? Don't do this to me. Don't, don't let us come this far. Unless you want to still, like, take a look at what's in stock, obviously. Which, I don't think anything should be... Well, except these seasonal things. The seasonal things will probably go for a few seasons and come back for sale. Like, after, like, two seasons, I think. But, yeah. Oh, excuse me. No, you will buy. Okay, so I will take that as a yes. No, you will buy Wavy Blade XD. Okay, so I just want you to say buy Wavy Blade before I do this. And then I will hold this and we'll see the bar go across. Uh, and then we'll see a cool little animation. Because that's how they get you into buying stuff in Eververse. They give you, like I think, a little cool animation when you buy shit in Eververse with silver. <laughs> buy Joe Mama. Right, that is the confirmation. That is all I need. Bro, look at all that. They have a fucking, like, all that animation. And then when you open a bright engram, it's just shit. Right, now to confirm that I got it. There you go. There it is. And the thing is, as well, I can refund it. But obviously, I'm not going to. We're going to open it, and we're actually going to... Well, I can't use it, but I can still preview it. So, apply this ornament in the detail screen of the gear shown below. So, as far as I'm aware, yeah, I have it here. I'm actually just going to leave it here. So, I have a quick excuse to look into it and be like, damn, one day I'll get this. And now I kind of want to do the dungeon, but obviously I'm not going to do that now. I, I haven't even been able to solo the whole dungeon myself anyway, I don't think. Have I? No, I haven't been able to get past Kyle. Anyway. Finally, after another extra half an hour of playing the game, and because now we can get rid of the follower goals, let me... Wait, that's the original one. Where's follower? Wait, that is the follower goal. Wait, what's this one then? Oh, th that's this one, yeah. Okay. We can get rid of that. We can actually... Actually, no, I won't delete it. I'll leave it there. But I'll get rid of... Follower goals anyway. Because we don't need to show that for now. It's only when somebody actually, like, follows next now. We hit 71. That's when we can show the next follower goal. Anyway. Finally, we're ending. Okay, I'm even going to close Destiny here. I know you can't see it, but I am closing it. Thank you, Brandon, for finally clearing up these goals. Um, now they can be erased. As I said before, though, in the future, when I have a follower goal that needs to be hit, I'm going to fucking put an expiry date on it. Because that 65 and 70 have been there for, like, over a few weeks now. And it's finally good to see them go. So let me... I'm going to underline that, and then... I'll go on Twitch later to um, do things. Right, anyway. Thanks, Brandon, and everybody else for watching. Thanks for the Ball Guys emo. I've actually never seen that before. What is its name? Ball winning. Uh, obviously, if you like the stream and you're watching this on YouTube, obviously like it. Comment if you want. Subscribe if you want. Follow me on Twitch live. Maybe if you're the 71 follower, you'll get to change my eye colors because that's what's next. I shall see you. Hopefully another time. And maybe I'll be even playing with Brando next time if we ever play a Resident Evil game on stream or something like that. So yeah. See ya.